てて、What is up, kids? My idiot buddy just called me and killed my camera. Give me two seconds. On stream, comma, goob. Give me a second, guys. Get this reset. Oh, what's up? Two seconds. If a guy come, named Ab Taylor comes in here, he's the one that just sabotages me. How is everybody doing? I hope you guys can hear me. Trying to get my sound better. Trying to get it up to par. Those should be a little bit of an echo coming from my phone. Um, that's shooting down on my uh, NAS. So how is everybody doing on this fantastic Friday evening? I'm going to go through here and try to say hey to everybody without... Uh, getting bogged down and then we'll chat about some impromptu stuff man you guys have been chatting it up do y'all like the little intro thing i noticed that tri-state and some others go live about five ten minutes early and i could probably come up with some more creative stuff with the little app that i use but or would you rather just have the thumbnail there i don't know what's better for you guys don't know what you prefer because I'm just trying to find my way through this crazy content creation game. Palmer Connolly, what is up? You shipped out today, buddy. I apologize for the delay. Jim Miller, you are going to ship out tomorrow, brother. Congratulations to you. Craig McDonald, channel member, what is up? Mayor Salt, what is happening, brother? Joe Isabella, what is happening? I'm starting at the bottom, guys. Jim Tegra channel member, welcome, my friend. Guys, I have linked, just so you know. At the top of the comments, I posted it. I was late. I had kind of a unmotivated week, and I did not get my giveaway knife video for the channel members set up. And I've got a little swag giveaway that we'll do here later too. But uh, I know you guys don't come for that. But definitely, if you're one of the channel members, um, or you're gifted a membership tonight, or you decide to get a membership, don't get one if you don't want one. But um, it does help the channel and there's a pretty cool knife tonight it's actually one of two two suns that i've hung on to the other one that i've hung on to if it ever goes it has a sati grind but this is one of my favorites this is the two sun 
um, Stingray, not the Sidewinder, the Stingray. It is M390. It's a little bit thicker knife. It's an inset frame lock. See how you've got the entire frame lock, and then you just got this piece of carbon fiber over it. M390 compound ground blade. It looks like it's a front or a flipper flicker only, but it does have a front flipper tag. And you guys know I hate front flippers, but this one does work very well. Jim M390 titanium carbon fiber. Great knife. It's one that I've hung on to. I've carried extensively. Um, I've not cut a lot with it because if you guys know, Amazon boxes are my main gig. So, uh, no, this is this is up to the members. The link is in the description, and good luck for that. And right now, there are not many comments. The other bit of news. Hey, Scotch, I will bring you up in two seconds. The other bit of news: if y'all were on the late night stream last night, I am going to be putting this on Nassau at a very good price. But you guys would get an actual better price and it's not a knife that anybody needs it's a knife that you may want i wanted it because i saw it on mc's channel and i'm like big ass knives i cannot lie i've started a couple times the pmp tianto and m390 i've decided to let it let it go um it was probably one of my most unneeded purchases and i would not ever tell you guys that it's a needed purchase but if you like Alpha Beast, if you like overbuilt crazy shit, it does have skiffs in it. Um, it comes apart very easily. I use flat screwdriver. It has cover and painter's tape. And then for the pivot, I use a penny covered in pa painter's tape. So that's all it takes to take that knife together, put it, take it apart. Very well made, great knife. Um, just so y'all know, it will eventually go on Nassau later this week or early, I guess this week, but I will let it go. I got it. I think I told you guys it was 550. I got it on a 10% discount with my white mountain knives discount, which made it, uh, right around five even um i'm gonna let it go for four maybe you know make me an offer i'm not gonna go crazy crazy on an offer but you guys are my friends if somebody really wants it reach out to me dm me um it hadn't been used i reviewed it i played with it i think i did hack it into one piece of bamboo i did a little action short and it uh it actually um, went really well. None of the DLC came out. Scotch and things. What is up, brethren? Hey, what's up, man? So what kind of weather got you back <clears throat> early? I know you said you weren't going to pocket metals, probably not going to be able to join us. Wind. I just sent Dave a text message seeing if he was available tonight. Hey, I can shoot him a, a link in two seconds. I would love to have Satu on. I'm sure the, the chat could learn a lot. As a matter of fact, I was just showing you saw the two sun that i'm giving away at one time i had 20 two suns i've always been a two sun fan and the only one i have left i think it's a two sun ts246 the reason i don't know what the exact number is without pulling it and i'll pull it here in a second i'll pull it right now but i sent it to side two and dude not only did he do a wicked wicked regrind on it but he somehow I guess with gun blue and some kind of etching, he was able to go back and match the finish. I said, dude, I was not ex expecting that. You know, I was expecting it to come back. You know, you didn't have to go to that trouble. I mean, because I mean, when I show you this knife and I'll bring it up here in a second, let me find the original, what it looks like. But it's the last two sun in my collection. And it's one that's got found its forever home already with me because it it means a lot to me. I've got uh, titanium scales. I won't even get into that story, but I've got titanium scales on the way from original goat. 
they've been on the way for a really long time um but there's been an issue that's fine um and that's been reground by saw two as has my four max but have y'all seen this ts346 it's on washers it's a hulk of a knife it's got a solid back spacer it even comes with this little pin which i would never use because i believe in frame locks if you put your hand around it and hold it you're only going to increase the lock stability but that's just me but they have this little doohickey here that if you want to you can screw it there and make it even more stable but so see how that blades black scotch yeah so it came back to me i'm about to go grab it out of the case but Satu matched that dude and if you see right here you can see the ts 346 d2 that's the only way that you can tell the difference in this finish from what after he reground it and refinished it with whatever magic he employed so if he's available nfk 20 member for seven months right, guys you've been missing that kind of stuff yeah let me, let me uh, Michael Morgan's been a member for two months. Buddy, thank you. Scott's what you doing? Three yeah. months. And NFK 27 months. Guys, you guys are awesome. Oh, scotch, Polycom, Tucson. I'm going to grab that knife so I can show oh, you. You got to dream higher, man. Dream higher. And let him know that I know he's on, a, he's like one hour, maybe two. With, he's in Arizona, right? Yeah. So um, I don't know what their time is, but he he's free to oh, come on any time from now right to now. Now I'm carrying something. I, I'll just show you the tip. Hold on, now. let me see if it'll come in. I'll just show you the tip. Oh, the harpoon tip. Um, since Easter, I have been carrying. Ah, other than work, I've been carrying this Sabenza 31 PDW, and it is fucking murdering my thumb, man. But it's breaking in finally. I was about ready to give up on it. Are you still um, solo clipping it or solo studying it? What? Are you still solo studying it? It's well, it's got dual studs, but I mean, okay. on Chris Reeve, like on these for me, uh, on a Sabenza, the stock ones, the OEM ones are on a Sabenza. I know a lot of people go to tie connector and change them out, and that allegedly makes them experience better from what i've yeah, heard dave Even put some I'm, on um dave put some on a inkosi for me which then i sold back to him um it is for some reason and i don't know why it is the a sabenza 21 will always be smoother than a 31. Um, is the 21 the smaller no the 21 is the old version okay uh the 31 has a detent they have a there's a ceramic detent on the lock bar that rest that that engages with the blade where the 21s didn't have that. Uh, I'll get a strider soon. Oh, I'm thinking about there. it. I'm going to immediately text my buddy because I need to review his Sabenza. Hold on one sec. Hold on. Palmer wants to see some striders. I'll be right back. I'll unmute and talk. So this guy's, and I'm going to make myself big while Scotch is gone. So I was showing you guys, and I can pull it up again. So I was showing you the Tucson. I think it was a TS-346. So that looks color-wise factory. The only thing you can tell is it no longer has the print there in the blade. And it's got a wicked hollow grind with the compound tip when he kept the tip thick but the grind like get on my hands and knees things i do for you guys because i love you but this thing is an absolute laser babe now was it a bad knife before no you could stick it through a car door but this was one of the earlier knives that Satu ground. I've got uh, two hinderers, a um, Pena Bravo, and my 8010 that I want to send him. 
but I feel so guilty um, because all he wants is shipping. And I feel like, dude, I, I, your craft is worth paying for. I mean, I'm all about it. Um, but yeah, he also reground. I know I've shown you guys this, but check out my four max an S35 with a absolute wicked compound. Hologram. Check this out. Formax. Looks like I'm cutting sushi. All right, let me get Scotch back in here. And make myself not small anymore. And I'll tell you guys, they've done a little weird update on StreamYard. So if I accidentally screw the goat and uh happen to close us out i will start us back okie doke i'm showing off his grinds i'm gonna let you take over with your strider show and tail and i I'm... gotta give palmer i just grabbed a hand what i could fit in my pockets don't taunt me with the uh, 207 or it's it's just pt pt i don't, just PT. They don't what they call is it is that a protect number that's the two protect number okay yeah, Small that's strider, a, PT. Does PT stand for petite or does it stand for Patricia? Um, probably it probably I don't know. Probably stands for something. Strider names he uses initials of people like the SNG. But it's um, the same size as my PT two hundred seven. So if I was holding that, the only difference is it's a real Strider and it's a frame lock. The PT that you have compared to the PT two hundred seven. Yeah. Just PT. This PT has got a blade it's hold. God, it's sexy, dude. Um, You're lucky. SMG, I'm not going to really twist your arm because I can't buy anything. I might, man. I, I went on a binge since Easter. So, uh, Strider SNG Performance, old school. Let me, make you big. Let me make you big for a sec. Asymmetrical Edge. Um, this is different than the new ones being released. Mick put these together himself. Here is the old school smf performance same thing asymmetrical edge mick put them together and tuned them um old school so shit i don't have a new one in here yeah i do so here's an old school sng carbon fiber cc concealed carry because it's got contoured scales um digicam so the old older striders have these big stop pins where a newer strider will have do you see that kind of nipple looking st stop pin i don't know if you can see the difference there in stop pins so then there's a snub double gunner grip tanto old school because of the stop pins and it says Strider here, or on the newer knives, it'll say M Strider. Double gunner grip is just the pattern. DGG means it's on both sides. There's a double gunner grip, three quarter grind, um, SNG. I just sent Kyle Cooley, my, one, my double gunner grip SMF. I have a couple chips in the blade. Um, here's a Strider Custom SMF double gunner grip. I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm, I might sell that one. Here's a Strider Custom. Uh, this is one of two like this in the world. Uh, this, you've seen, I keep showing that black double gunner grip. I mean that black XL uh, when I'm downstairs. This is my double gunner grip XL. I use this one a lot, the tip's gone. If you want size comparison, here's a XL. God, I can never hold these up. Here's an SMF. XL is a big knife. That's what I've got. I've got a bunch of others, but there are, I mean, it's just different variations so, of, um, different variations of smfs and smgs and well, those ones you were selling me 
everything I guess is for sale for a price, but um, there's a lot of money in Strider on this table right now. I've been amazed at how reasonable, because I go to that page that you shared with me on yeah. Facebook, the Strider group, mm -hmm. and uh, they're not nearly, and or again, right now, luckily, I'm not in a position to get one. And I want one. What's it called? You showed one a second ago. But when they're yeah. full aluminum or full tie. <clears throat> a full tie? Or the scale side. Yeah, because I guess the, the back's always tie, right? The back is always tie. So if you go, um, that's tie there. Is that an SNG or is that an SMF? This is an XL. So this is an XL. God dang, dude. That blade. This is an SMF. Both of which are much bigger than the SNG. Yeah. Um, the only, okay, for all tie, it's going to be either a custom or a performance series. So, so the performance one, series is, and that, do they all have uh, intense blades? Um, performance series are tie construction, full pass through without the mono block construction. And then this, they have the they share the pivot with the custom knives that see-through pivot compared to their spanner pivot that pivot's a spanner right yeah that's their spanner pivot so is there any way to mod these through strider like put an aluminum scale on no, it they won't, no they'll void your warranty so uh if you go from i guess a g10 to an aluminum What's your, are you going a hundred bucks? Are you going 125? Same huh? Same price from, from aluminum scale. I don't have any of those on me right now. Oh yeah. You don't have to, I'm, I can picture them. Cause they look yeah. like no, the aluminum scale and the G10 scale are the same price. You only get a price bump when you go to the all titanium. But that sounds like you're going for a huge price bump. If you're having to go to the no, customer. I mean, gosh, I haven't bought a new. Or if on you bought one two, used, I mean, we on know these two, yeah, because they're older. Um, there's close to, I don't want to say a price, it's I don't be rude, but or yeah, if like anybody's it. looking for a rask, by the way, I knew where one was yesterday. Somebody reached out to me, he's a friend of ours in the chat. Um, I'm not interested in one or in the position to get one, but I just thought I'd throw that out there, Marisol. Strider G10 is great. Their G10, they're, I didn't even bring a Lego with me. So then there's different terms. There's Lego, there's hybrid. Um, cross hybrid. This is hybrid, right? Though you called it hybrid. I, I call that cross. hybrid. G10 hybrid. Yeah, it's like a hybrid of a CC and a, because the back side is squared off and then the front side is contoured. Right. Yeah, so that's a, a hybrid. Um, and it's it started out rask, go join a Grimsmo group. You can get them under under retail. And it had a uh, lock stick a little bit, which I expected. Now they all come with it. it. People like to bitch about the lock stick. They they all come with it until you break them in, and then it goes away. And so do you think most of the haters just never give them a chance because they're used to a bearing knife? Is that what they? Yeah, they just don't. I mean, it's older. I mean. Hold on, I'm so far behind on comments. This is a bearing knife. Yeah, I'm 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 just looking at the ones coming up, but I haven't yeah. been people like Cheeto and Tom. I mean, it's, it's like people that say Chris Reeve need to innovate. They don't. Strider doesn't need to innovate. Didn't Everything Chris sells out. Why would they need to innovate the, to make uh, frame lock? One or person wants a bearing knife. Go buy a bearing knife. Frame lock? The frame lock or the Chris Reeves lock? What do they call that? the Reven integral lock is that what is the modern day frame lock was that kind yeah. of the first one yep so yeah i just did a video and people don't like my top 10 imported frame lock videos that i put out three days later than my top 10 american which kind of warms my heart um but i love bearing or washer knives now and what pisses me off is I have a set of skiff thick washers. I don't know if y'all have been to skiff site. If you do use Javon 10, I don't get anything for it, but y'all save 10%. But Steve has started making washers 
that are the same size as your factory bearing. So for example, if you wanted to run your mm, if you wanted to run an Aries that I put skiss in it. If you wanted to run it on washers, all you have to do is know the size bearings that you put in it and you can buy that size thick washer and full phosphorus bronze. I have a set. I don't remember where the F I put them. Um, it's kind of frustrating, but you know, it happens. Yeah. Steve, Steve is, is here. He's bought some newer striders recently. I haven't. I mean, I call it. Bought a G10 gunner grip hybrid a couple months ago. And then this PT, but I haven't, I've been trying to. So what's a gunner grip? I've heard you. Gunner heard grip that is the. I kind okay, of so that's divided aluminum or is it divided G10? This is G10. This is titanium. And then they make they make an aluminum one. So the gunner grip is like an alternative to a crosshatch pattern. Yeah, they do crosshatch. They do gunner grip. They do G10, just flat G10. They do. They Fred do. Ingram. Joe Isabella, I hope you feel better, buddy. I'm just seeing you guys here. I've been. You know how I get, I've got really bad, ad, ad. Jim Miller, what is up? Anybody wants to spend some money, uh, Direware just dropped some nice knives on their site. That's the best budget knife that I've encountered. The best knife that I've encountered so far this year is the Mr. Mr. Pharaoh, because I love holograms. And I think QSP killed it. But this um, Leong Ma EFD, which stands for Economical Field Duty in 14C, if you look at it next to the first knife was a great knife, the Trinity. It just kind of had a weird look to me. The blade looked too long. But if you look at this, the Field Duty is one of my favorite designs. Actually, the Field Duty EDC is my favorite. I'm not Marisol. I just got his. I'm signed up for his. Well, that's going to a new. I, I had the tail whip too, which I sold a buddy, and it had just a little bit of a kind of Persian. Type. I loved it. Uh, God, he's got some. He dropped some smoking knives today, so I'm not direware. Peace operator, what is up, brother? I've got you packed up and at about four o'clock this morning before I go to bed or tomorrow morning, I'm going to put you in the mailbox and you will go out Saturday. If you guys want to see live, which I saw some of you over there, I also picked up a Neptune after watching his initial review. Um, it came in probably two, maybe three weeks ago, but it was a long shipping. It got caught up. I reached out to their customer service. They were super helpful. They let me know that. They got caught up in uh, customs because they shipped them right after I ordered it. And what it is, is it's an aluminum knife, has the best pocket clip of any OTF I've handled. And I've held on to a Microtech before I ever reviewed one. It's got this what I call grip tape because I'm a skateboarder, which gives it good purchase because it's a rectangular knife, full size knife. But it's recessed in that aluminum, so the scale or the clip goes in and out. I got the drop point. MC had the dagger. Um, and it's a wider blade. And what's amazing about it is it's a ZDP or it's a San Mai finished blade, but it's what they call SLD Magic, which is a, a, a which is a kitchen knife steel. But for an out the front, guys, this thing is super slicey. It's not once failed on me. The spring fires. I can't even use because I've got a weak thumb. I have to use the size of my th the side of my thumb to pull it back. You know how much it was? One hundred and eight dollars from Max Ace. Keep in mind, Max Ace. And Black Cat Studios brought 
the Babylon version one and version two, which I kept mine. I love it. Peter at Therapeutic Edge turned me on to this. One of the best button locks in my collection. This was 250 bucks, which I think for what it is, because I've taken it apart and it's amazingly done, is a great value. I don't have my black mirror, which was $146 in M390 and titanium. And then they put out the Meerkat, which I didn't like the design as much, but it was S90V and titanium for the same price. So Max Ace is killing it. And I'm not an out the front guy. John got me changed on that whole gig when he released this. And I fell in love with it at Blade Show, this little Warncliffe Pulsar. And he was even nice enough to uh, mod my spring because he knows I've got a short pain tank thumb. Five door, you're going to stay up till one o'clock and watch um, qualifying? Is it uh, what qualifying? I know the Masters is going on, right? F1. Oh, F1, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Mark Parks, channel member, guys, I'm sorry I've not been talking. I promise here in a second I will go through and I will, we'll do a pocket check on these bonkers Tenascus raccoon dogs. Bonkers raccoon dogs. I've got to look at that. That sounds like a knife. Bonkers raccoon dog. So what knives, I heard you say what dropped, uh, Scotch. What has anybody been excited for? I've not been really checking it and kind of stayed out of it because I knew I hadn't been in the position to jump on anything. My buddy A to Z um, picked up a, uh, ooh, it's a Max Ace, I got you. My buddy picked up from another brother from a mother in the chat, or he, he was in MC's chat, a Oz Roosevelt with the putter mill pattern. Um, and I was lucky enough to get to check out um, brother uh lord needham's oz roosevelt and i fell in love with it it's to me the only really nice now that's on my radar as a must-have at some point don't know when it'll happen i mean i've got stuff i could trade for it but you know nothing like i wouldn't want to trade my lamina i wouldn't want to trade my um Koenig. Wouldn't want to trade my members, but I'd trade a couple of things. The Black Sheep Full DLC and Micro Milled Hanex. All right, I got to look that up. Xanax. I can't even fucking talk. I said Xanax. I meant to say Vanex. Uh, Kunwu Black Sheep. Guys, I'm stoked for Blade Show. I'm probably only going to go on Saturday, and hopefully Wild Man Dark Gravity will join us tonight but um i'm probably gonna run over with him on saturday but there's several things i want to see and mainly people but it's just gonna be hard is that is that a type of uh jim miller it's fantastic did you get a new one if you got a new smock i would recommend and they're great videos i didn't do one but i followed uh nick shabazz's to take out my secondary detent I've got another case. I only got two cases next to me. Strider SMG Tonto dropped tomorrow. You've got a Tonto or did you sell it? I knew you said when you showed it, Scott, since you might move it on. Um, I've got a Tanto SMF still. I don't, I've got, I mean, I've got, I've got two older SNG Tantos, this three quarter grind, and then a mint um, full flat grind. I might sell that. Let me tell me this: Did uh, is it a Padre you've got coming? A dogfish? What? Chad, Pulsar. I reached out to them again just like I do on social media, not to mess with them, but just to give them what I consider to be valid feedback. This Django or whatever you call it, if it wasn't this lock, and I own two of them with this lock, it's very elegant, but it has absolutely no detent. Their frame locks, whether it's the towel 
whether it's the Orion, whether it's the uh, Chief's Foot, uh, the Pulsar, one of the best in the game. Um, why aren't I seeing it? It must be, you must be talking about the Pulsar. An absolute winner of a knife. It was my knife of the year. Um, not that my knife of the year matters, but it's a knife that I picked up at Nassau from a guy who I've become kind of buddies with, super nice guy. He bought two of them when they dropped. He bought the satin and he bought the stone wash, which is this one. He opened the satin and he fell in love with it and knew he wasn't going to like this better. So this didn't even have the plastic broken on it. I paid what I could have bought it for, but long after they were gone. I hate front flippers, but it front, front flips very well and it slices like a beast. Great knife. Channel member, all you channel members, please go up to the pinned comment and just leave a re or the pinned video and leave a regular comment, any comment, as long as it's not a cuss word or emoji only, and um, get entered for tonight's giveaway. And I will, in the meantime, change the music and change the background. Does this make people nauseous? I was told last night in my late night stream it was making people nauseous, which I don't want to do. It kind of makes me nauseous. So I'm just going to go ahead and R stamp that one. Okay. So, dude, did you work all day? Tell me about it. If you were still on the road, were you on the way to a job? I was, when I texted you earlier, I was at the job, which is a real pain in the ass because we just, the wind has been so bad. I needed one full day to get this project when i say jack like all the rings put on so we can anchor it and then start putting the floor in so we've been home since last thursday and the wind has been so bad that we went down last night two and a half hours so we could get on the job first thing in the morning and get this job done and by 12 30 the wind which wasn't supposed to come up today came up and it's supposed to be really bad usually we'd stay on site when we're that far from home but another Just three days trail, right? you've got a really cool i've seen your video from there you've got a place where you can sleep right uh, we stay in hotels oh, okay yeah i've got i mean i've got a place where i can stay in, a, in an emergency like our job trailer is a horse trailer that's converted so it's got a living quarters in the front so we can have lunches and suppers in there and get out of the heat and get out of the cold if you have to go all crab boat to get a job done yeah i mean but usually we just stay in hotels ah palmer for step and put him in a dumpy car um but uh yeah so it's it's just frustrating that we is drove. this what you're going in jeff jesse it matters to me because hold on i can do this i can go the moving thing is just something they added i know this one's distorting was the blue ring bad or would y'all rather just have it be something like that that doesn't move like we used to do in the old days. Y'all tell me if you like a moving of oh, the previous Jesse. Was that the one that we started with? Oh, five door. Did you just see the Dwyer that he posted up? I'm really tempted, but I bought in the span of not even a week. I kind of went crazy. I had to wait a long time for mine, but it was totally worth it. Is that it, Jesse? He's not getting a top five in a, in a Haas. This was actually on my well, top see, I'm two. really hoping he breaks the contract uh, and goes to somewhere else. That would be hilarious. Brain locks that nobody watched. Or well, people watched it, but they didn't watch it at all. In equal machinery. But it's not all equal machinery. And guys, this is not looks nothing like the evo to me 
I mean, I had them laid out together. The, the blade is a similar shape, but it's also the same shape as a TRM shadow if you look at it. And I'm sure it was inspired by it, but I don't think it's... Y'all tell me, I mean, at what point does it's it become weird. flattery and driving, you know, drawing inspiration from simple design elements? or taking something and running with it. Is that a Kubi? This is a Kubi Padre. So and what what is the Kubi that copied the Arius? This one's allegedly. Yeah, but there's a Kubi that copied an Arius too, right? Oh, the Kubi? That was the, yeah, that was the uh, 321. And it's not a copy either. I had it. I, I had it in a G10. It's it similar a enough, it's a copy. Well, don't you, this, a lot of people think this is more similar. Not to an Arius. That's got the belly of well, a. Let me show you. Let me show you. The belly uh, of a, of a let Evo. Let me show you this this Kubi, and you tell me. I think it was a Evo is a copy of a Strider scale and KB three twenty one. Hold on a second. You tell me if you think this is Kubi knives. If you think this is a copy, I thought the blade looked similar. I liked it. People called it a uh the tedious people would call it a um affordable uh alternative but from a design perspective i never saw it as anything similar so you want to look at a titanium one yeah that's a copy of an Arius. look can you still see me beside it no, it's well, it's not even shaped like it there's not a clip it. huh that's because you're showing an Evo, showing Arius. Oh, okay. You're talking about an Arius? Yeah, that's a copy of an Arius. Look at that blade. I know there's only so many knife shapes you can make, but that, they that straight more... up stole that blade shape. Oh, I wonder, but see, I also know... You guys need to go watch Nice Guy Machine design, Company. We can't design in a vacuum. I don't design. You but can't, I would, but I mean, eventually you, gotta, you guys got to realize that some of these companies are just stealing fucking shit so well, i can show you that on amazon right now if you want to make yourself sick sit tight i'll show you what makes me sick and i think they're called jed let's go <clears throat> titanium i am um, nice no, i forget if it's jed once i find one of these knives and click on the person or company that's allegedly making them you'll see a fatal freaking flaw with what they are without doubt because they were actually made i'm positive at the same factory at the same time i'm sorry no i, I mean i'm sorry guys but it's just do the research google where all the knives come from in china it's one city yeah yeah, one company, and that's why I don't care if they, that's what you want might, to buy. They but might just pay, know that's what you're buying. They might run a company's knives for three shifts, and then run the fourth shift for the extra knives that they're going to put out on Amazon. Because they, 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 they have a mall that is a million square feet where you can go knife shopping, and where companies like Kershaw can come in or anybody and and get a knife done i that's 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 wild i'd love to see how they i mean because they're evidently doing something is it their machinery that allows them to do this work they that they do? Is specialize in um i'm going to find this knife guys i'm scrolling in the background i'm not ignoring y'all sorry go ahead the knife city and it all started from that's where they made all the knives from way back in the day and now it's just grown with technology and now they make everybody's knife but then there's the city where all the electronics come out of then there's the city that you know so do you think i mean i know best tech's not a knife oe they don't actually make anything but do you think riot's a different building than we right what do you think they have their own store they're they're, they're all the storm fronts but they're all the same Scotch so doesn't know what discount codes. <laughs> Do you think they're? Uh, it's all. I mean, 
You can Google it. Their offices yeah, we'll are all. They, they they have like, show you all. Maybe they. Hang on. We has their own, uh, their own facility. They all have their own facilities, but they're it's all the same. You know that uh, that um, that CKF that dude started out cloning Chris Reeve Knight. I mean, he was a Chris Reeve cloner, and then they realized that they could get away from cloning and doing OEM work, which is fine. But it's just what they're doing. But again, I think the whole culture does not look at you know, like they're all the same. The way we call it's no one owns them. It's owned by the government. Just know what you're doing and go watch Nice Guy Machine Company's post on Instagram. The, I mean, and that's yeah, why I, 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 I don't care. We're all knife enthusiasts, and I've had a couple of pops tonight, but it just kind of gets me going. Where it's like, know what you're doing, and eventually, there's not going to be any U.S. makers because no one's. Like Greg Medford says, not to bring up any polarizing name, but I'm, you know, I'm all for hearing and learning. But it's not um, just Greg Medford; it's every American machinist. Yeah, this I'm trying to find this ripoff of an EMP EDC design that's now all over, um, all over Amazon. It used to just be on AliExpress. And Grateful Panic, when he was living with me way back when, ordered one of the frame locks, or not the frame locks, the liner locks. And it was the same knife as my buddy A to Z had. Um, so that just tells me that they're freaking shady. Um, let's see if I go real. They had, the, they had not just one design. They had all of his designs except for the out the front. I think all of the QSP designs looked like they'd either been turned loose to make them or what. And I'm not ignoring you guys. I'm just trying to find it so I can prove to you I'm not. I mean, look at people like trying to people complain about the price and this and that. Look at someone like Satu Dave trying to get going in the knife business. Did it's you have a battle? Not to interrupt you. No. I'd love for him to jump on and show us what he's doing. He had three more appointments, he said. I got you. All he's got to do is reach out. We'll be here. All right. It's, I'm just not showing up. I'm going to give it three more scrolls, and then I'm jumping out of here. Forgot what I searched for. Maybe I saved it. The favorite. I've never done that. Let's see. This... Mm. And there's little kids younger than Palmer making those knives. What was it called? True. We well, we we assume that, but I mean, to be skilled, it seems like it had to be semi-skilled labor. Um, it's not Ned Frost. I'm trying to think of the name of it. Ja. It's something with a J. Um, and I can't go close enough to think of it. But I'll come back and I will search for it. Maybe it'll come up. And I'll remember it. But anyway, they are selling for 89 bucks titanium nimbles on Amazon. And it's ridiculous. But, you know, what are you going to do? I would think that since it's being sold in the States, that you could do a cease and desist. I agree, Tori. I own one in G10. I didn't think it was a copy. And I've seen a lot of reviews, kind of like, I don't think it's, it's not a clone. It's a copy. Look at the blade. I mean, it's like well, someone's. That knife. If you look at, if you look at, and I don't have it out here anymore. The uh, Asher knives, Spiro, and an Oz Roosevelt. They're very similar, but they're not the same. And no. the the uh, tidiest is more uh, just a drop point where this to me has a little bit more flair. A lot more flair, really. Hey, Captain. I mean, but, I mean can't you look at something and go like? I can see that it was taken inspiration in by pretty close to that. Oh, let's just change a line here. For example, when I look at this, or your SNG or SMF and the F and Grove that the number won't go mentioned, I can see that that's a direct copy. I don't oh know yeah. Why. I've had people in my comments, dude. That video blew up, and it had more 
engagement, people going back and forth because people were like, no, that's right when Strider broke up that design. I mean, it was just weird shit and I didn't pay much attention to it. But the point is I bought a bunch of knives that were legit because of it, but that was a definite exact to me replica where the tidiest they're not allowed to do their job other knives are more inspired by <clears throat> in my opinion inspired yeah. copied and changed the line here or there well the, the, the change same. line is important because but that's like that within any design language it's not just so knives. Look at anything. this knife if there's something good someone wants to copy it but look at this knife put their tweak on it this knife is the cop copied other knives shapes and functions i don't think this is a revolutionary knife the lock might have been yeah. but it's just a knife you only when you get to a traditional knife shape right there's only so much like this is pretty straightforward as a knife but when you get into something like the areas that blade is pretty true distinct. i agree it's it is it is more and and do, do the knife makers companies because they do seem to respond to trends quicker than others but do they just see what's hot and try to make their take on it because one thing i know i remember seeing this one 20 20 years ago acid test kids now you're i mean you're just a copy is a copy yeah identical that benchmate he just showed or that copy of a benchmade yeah that's a, that this company on on amazon makes copies whatever of makes you things. feel better i don't care copy uh if you don't have like i mean design something like at least look at kev designing unique designs you know not out there copying like all these all these in-house brands from china it's all i mean do they come up with anything really groundbreaking no they're using american designers to push the edge but they're pushing me and then they turn around and copy their shit and sell on wish or AliExpress or whatever. Yeah, that's what's crazy. And that's what I'm pulling up here, Ali. But it's also now invaded um, Amazon, without a yeah. doubt. Amazon doesn't care. I would think they would. I can't believe that they that they don't protect that. I wish I could remember. He's making money hand over fist. He doesn't yeah, care. Something. Amazon. Yeah, I'm hoping that my remembering. Just go EDC. Nah. Just because if this was Javon's Ethan Grow, and this one was a real Strider, just because it said Ethan Grow, it's a copy. It's a clone. Just it's a clone. Of, it was identical. You guys can. You guys can can make yourselves feel better but because of that even grow said even grow not strider it's still a copy it's still a clone your technical terms don't matter exactly and i agree with that and i called it such i'm just yeah. saying that no, i'm just saying some of these guys and they're like well the technical term is this no it's a well, clone technically is you didn't put the, the strider on there well, did you see they don't the put the butterfly video? on the page, it's still did a clone show? design where he had the uh, Medford he got from China that said Medford on the box and ASK. Did you see that video of the Praxis that he unboxed? Yeah. That is a clone because it is calling itself, if you look at it by de definition, it's calling itself that product. If you look at a Gucci bag that's a fake Gucci, that's a clone. If you look at a bag that's called Ghouli, and the stripes are just a tiny bit different. That's more of a copy than a clone. There is a difference in the law and how they're prosecuted and what they can get away with. But I agree. We should look at Jufli. Okay, that's y'all were pointing that they're out. They're never going to get prosecuted. That's Jufli. the problem. Like my buddy that that might have been it on Amazon, too. He prosecutes the people that bring in the stuff if he can catch them. Jufli or not. The, the Chinese, they also copy... They also copy... Um, Dimco's the same company. All right, here, check this out. So this is what I would consider a flat out copy slash, but it's not a clone. Terry, I don't care what the term is. 
just because if it's a clone because they put Benchmade on, it's still a counterfeit. It's a clone. It's a copy. I mean, I don't care what the technical term is. That bug out. Well, I agree. I, I, I agree with design. you. The, All right. the, because the they didn't put the butterfly the on it. That We're is still a Benchmade design. Principle. We're not arguing principle. We're just arguing. No, they're, they're, I mean, some of the guys, and I'm sorry, I'm getting heated, but the guys that try and do semantics, who I watched a video, oh, that Marine X that tried to say that clones were no good, but something else was fine because they didn't put the Benchmade butterfly on it. Bullshit. Well, if it's, the same, if it's the same design, that's different than an Asher. And I don't even like Benchmade. So, an Asher and a bitch made. copied and cloned and. I don't even like going to AliExpress. I think it's worse than TikTok from a data standpoint. I've heard I would never buy from there. Um, what was it called? G Fuel. What are you looking at? I'm and looking at thing, wasn't it? Like, they keep changing the name. Is Wish still a thing? And what was it before Wish? Why do they keep? Is Wish, Wish still, still a thing? thing? AliExpress is a major thing for clones and uh, lookalikes. Cause check these out. These will make you sick. Whoops. This is the Jufli knife store. I respect guys That's in the military. Clone. The memory next is an idiot. That's a, that is a clone because it's calling itself a real kick sock stop Ultramar. Now, the sad thing is, it is probably a real kick stock Ultramar that was made by Riot. Yeah. And it's 66 bucks. Now, this is not a real Narrows because it was not, but any of these Chinese knives. 139 for a winter blade cofactor. You can't tell me that these aren't leaking out. It's not leaking uh, out. It's coming out of the same factory. I mean, the steel's not the same. It's called small pudding. But yeah, all these, anytime, and that's what Greg says, anytime you stand a design, look at the MSI. I mean, they could just buy this stuff and re engineer it. They're those G fuels that are like the Ethan Bros. But see, these are clones. They say Strider, where the Ethan Bros says nothing. Can you see that? Yeah, there's I know it's just semantics, but that is, is. Is that a Hinder Project X down there? Yeah, I'm sure it is. Let me find it. Let me go back. Oh, is it not showing you the close ups that I'm going to? No, I just see the page as a total. I Hinder see Project, Project X. X. I see. Are they going big when I make them big? Stitch, no. Not. Okay, let me stop sharing and share the big picture. What's well, sad is like Chavez, Ramon Chavez is sending his stuff over there and they're copying it even. Now, hinderers, they would have to be buying them. Buying them or taking a picture and measuring them? I don't know. But yeah, I mean, that's, I don't think anyone who's an enthusiast is going to buy. Here's a titanium stitch automatic. Sorry, guys. I'm just in a bad mood because of work. We didn't get anything done this week, and that shit just pisses me off. And really, go watch um, Arch, Archie. His name's the guy who runs um, Nice Guy Machine Company out of Colorado. Just go watch his thing. People pushing this little knife. Go watch, his, go watch his little short from earlier on April Fool's Day. I mean, think about the the american machinist think about like someone like satu dave trying to get trying to get up and going it's hard it costs way more money here and he's going oh, solo he doesn't even have any insurance or employees yet or but look at what i mean this is clone city because it's passing itself off to the uninitiated who thinks they can get a hinder well you shouldn't think you should get one for 52 bucks but it's it's designed to be passed off as the real thing where copies like the Ethan grow it, it had no markings at all so anybody would look at it and say oh that's now this is look at this that looks just like an XO same packaging let's see if it's what they call it yeah, look at American I mean, Blade Works. I mean, it's wait rampant. Until, wait until he gets on their radar, and then they're not going. And his his shit's cheap. 
This is 99 cents. I mean, yeah, it's it's crazy. And it's disheartening because like Greg says, he can't send a knife over to China for what he can purchase a clone for and have it shipped back. And he just doesn't understand that, which I can see it. Here's an SE, which is definitely a clone because it's got all the markings. Just, I still haven't seen well, we're going to talk to Shane. Go talk to Edgy American. Is Edgy in here? No, but... You shouldn't I mean, be looking at these, but yeah, I mean, it's just... Homer thinks there's separate factories where the fake ones are made from the clones, from the... Dude, no, I think it's... We've talked think, about it before. Was, was it that QSP Penguin or... Or what was that? Uh, EMP. EMP. That EMP, EMP EDC. It's a Chinese-made knife. And yet, then they were selling... It is right here, and... Um, if you don't think they're coming out of the same factory, Palmer, then... Grateful Panic bought one. Buy your buy your plane ticket over there and go to her. And they they literally are. I mean, again, I don't see why you couldn't set the machines up identically anyway. But these are obviously coming out of the same shop, the same knife. I would be surprised if they didn't just mark the steel different because it would probably take more time to uh, to change it out. But yeah, that's disgusting. Let's go to uh, uh, and Jason's going to drop in. He's been he's got a bunch of magnetite. Did that switch over for you guys? Nope. So what do you got going on this weekend? How's work going, dude? How's, it's uh, it's been back a in the job. Sorry, it's been I was box. Like I said, had a couple pops and you know. It just no i feel it man i've been running for a month and two weeks and i haven't closed anything i made a lot of progress but until i close anything it's just you know i might as well be unemployed there's no solution kathleen but think of like the long game um and it's it's all you get into stupid politics and shit like that like you know in 50 years china has a real issue about population that they might not be around in yeah they've kind of put themselves in a situation to where um, they can't but uh i tried to do all american knives over here they can keep making stuff like this for pennies on the dollar and then we don't have people in america who can make stuff like this anymore in a generation what does that do if you don't have any kind of machinists machinists in the country anymore or stuff like that so and it, it's a stupid small thing like pocket knives but then it comes down to stuff like um well look what else is we've already lost textiles everything what do you think and I'm not saying it from a do you think it's sustainable for companies that are at the top of their game like Oz and Koenig and Hinderer? There are they sustainable in Redford and uh Spartan? It's or it's hard. I, I would think for like Oz and Koenig, even though they're so popular right now. I mean, they're they're looking at I mean, look at brands like like say Chris Reeve and Strider and Hinderer, right? The original OG. They've made it 30 some years 40 years on on a couple designs right so is this yeah i think it but these guys also mm -hmm. started in a time where there there wasn't a lot of selection right there weren't a ton of of knives out there and now but. there's now there is any kind of knife you want i mean there's a washer knife there's you know a bearing knife there's i mean the sky's the limit any kind of knife you want so and it's hard like like oz and koenig they're still riding hype train but eventually look at um grimsmo would be a perfect example you know so oz and koenig and the prices are coming down in the secondary market the secondary market kind of tells the tale Dictates. Uh, they yeah, sell out on drops. 
but like Grimsmo is the perfect example. Like the Norseman for years and years and years, it sold way over retail. And then they started making more and there was enough of them in circulation. You can go get a brand new Norseman on the secondary, brand new. These guys buy them and put them in their safe for $550, $600. And the Rask was the same way. It was selling at $1,800, $2,000, you know, and now you're seeing those under retail. Um, and Grimsmo has seen that and they're working on a new integral. Um, but Oz is the same way, like, and so is Koenig. Those prices on the secondary are finally starting to come down. So what did Oz do? He was pretty smart. Okay, I'm going to make the big Oz. Right. Uh, going for a while. Um, but don't you think even when they went to market, weren't they like 700 or 750 when they were trying to break in? I mean, I just... For an Oz or for, a, for an for Oz. Uh, for an Oz. I got... So mine, I got lucky in a lotto like three years ago. Mine was number 281. So a fairly low number. And I got that and it was a one-off with different hardware shit like that agree and the shark with pricing yeah, dude oh, well, I mean, what, that thousand dollar knife that's i i steve i looked at um i think mom was a blade had the carbon fiber edition available for a long time today it might still be i don't know um so the ones were like eight anyway so like three or four years ago when i got 281 I got it at retail for 670 bucks. So don't you think their processes, materials but, have gone up, but don't you think they're leaner now and producing that knife that it, if it was a 650, if that's all the market would bear, don't you think they still have a. No, I mean, they're, they're, still, they're still around that. I mean, seven, I mean, depending on if it's a good guy or someone trying to make some money, I think retail on them is around seven something and right. guys are still trying to get a thousand out of them. They usually sell somewhere between that and, table price and a thousand bucks. The table price now is what? Seven fifty for a basic. Yeah. But he's also cranking out. He's doing a drop of 25 or 50 per week now. So my week, guess well, he's my got, question uh, is, he has to raise his cost because he, he used to be a one man show and now he's got multiple employees sure you shop more more machines so he can crank these knives out but you have more expenses because i did the high-end woodworking as a marketing guy for 11 years so i know as we grew we grew employees we expended we invested in a lot of expensive machinery but we were getting more business but at the same time our margins were being kind of crushed by that expansion and then the recession hit and people weren't buying 1800 a foot cabinetry and we were kind of screwed yeah. But my point is, making knives, I would think your processes would get more refined. Because I follow... I, I think he's thing. gotten a lot better. I mean, like, I, like, I mean, so say, Ro, so Oz Machine Co., he'd do like a drop of 50, and that would take him six months, you know? And now he's doing 50, 25, you know, 50 every couple of weeks. So, and good, good for him. He's growing his business, but... Is it sustainable? I, I don't know. It just depends how, what that knife becomes, you know, is it something like a Strider or a, or, or a Hinder or Chris Reeve? Well, and that's the same thing with the American Blade Works because I'm not mistaken. It's just Michael making mm -hmm. those. Yeah. So if you ever wanted to expand his production, you bring on a head or a machine, all of a sudden, that cost of the knife has increased exponentially and you can't pass that along. So you gotta have, be able to absorb it temporarily till you get your demand met or hot, or, or I would think there's a lot of trickery. Um, yeah. I would think things like Medford's doing by diversifying, getting into steels and other things. If I can only imagine what their workers comp is like my workers comp for just oh, dude, OSHA local. is probably up their ass all day. I long. mean, and it's, and what I mean, that's just a whole nother thing. Like, and then workers comp is so stupid. It's based off your payroll. Well, my guys who are experienced, you know, and are less likely to hurt someone. Well, because they make more, that's what's 
drive me what my um you know oh shit i can't remember. yeah they make it hard i mean i, I can see the frustration oh, yeah. and, and totally get it because the the stuff that we paid out we were doing two three million dollars a year and got to the point to where we decided we could no longer do business it was just it had gotten to that place um and it sucks and i would hate to see the knife industry turn to that but i still think there are enough american buyers by american people that hopefully with the quantities that are available if benchmade's able to put as many knives out and spider co yeah. i would think your boutique like your i'm carrying today my uh mcneese i would think these guys are hopefully pretty healthy yeah but he's also very defensive i bet i, I can understand I mean, defensive is not what american machinists uh, it's a dying breed and and you know jd for ec yeah well, i don't know what the model what would what the model two cost the all tie version it's 399 the all time yeah, so he's 400 dollars right there on that like that's the great thing about the model one you can get it this in carbon six. fiber or, this or, is 625 with full tie with the full tie yeah which is what we're comparing with the awb i don't think they're a comparison i think the hinderers are much the far superior knife i think the awb is more in line with the trm it, it, the awb is more of like a, a, an edc knife to where like a hinder is more of a ed like it, it's going to be a work like a, a heavy right. duty let's go price some shit. but the nice thing about awb though he still has the model one in like my carter for what for 199 or something like that and doesn't um 349 that's right Jay. Doesn't, um trm have a, a cheaper model too i mean theirs are pretty reasonable but don't they have a trm start out i want to say when i got mine i need to go to my spreadsheet the scales are what killed these when i added scales they were almost as much as the knife um this is my first one, the Neutron. Or this is the actual uh, Adam. My first one was a Neutron. I traded with Mateo and another knife and a little cash. Um, but I don't remember. I think they were like two forty nine. If you go, let me go to their website. They all show sold out right now. But it's Friday, so there might be some in the garage sale. That's the booth I want to go by. Did I tell y'all I picked up an Atlas? It's Magna Cut now. It used to be 20 CV. I got a Magna Cut. Um, so it is not listed. Where's the price? 209. 209 for a Neutron mid sized Magna Cut with either G10 or Micarta. And if you look at it with titanium lizard skin, so it's two, it's three seventy two fifty. That's quite a jump for those scales. Come here, Pimi. I'm gonna show you the dog. I think the family just got home. Pimi, come here, come here. No one's out there. They just came in the garage. Dude, if you gotta jump and come back in, I'm gonna be here. All right, hold on one second. Come here, honey. If people want to see you. Guys, this is going to be launched at Blade Show. This is the Bulldog, which is a smaller. That a is that's a smaller. Oh, I thought the Bulldog there, dog. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, either Roxy or Riley. They've got two. That's why it's on their sticker. But she's getting old. Oh, I think that's a good looking knife. Now, I will be honest. I prefer the liner locks over the uh just woke up hold on settle down and then check this out this is a little big for me but i was excited to see him do it i've already screamed at Mr. Ann to please do a smaller one 9.3 inches i'd love to see that in six inches like a little nerd this is the world's most spoiled, worthless hunting dog ever. Oh, 
You know, dude, we saw the most worthless hunting dog last night during the live. It was. All right, the- I'm off balance because the, the okay. family just got home. How late are you going to be on till? Till at least midnight, buddy. Or hang out with the family. Come get back if you want. J- uh, Jason's going to jump in at some time. We'll be here. All right. Sorry, guys, for getting in my soapbox tonight. but No, you know, dude. I look it's at the big guys like Dave who are trying to get started in the business. And, and tell him if he wants to come on, just shoot me your te- Well, I can't get text. Um, Later, guys. I, Seriously, yeah, though, no go watch that night on on um, Instagram. Go watch uh, Nice Guy Machine Company's video from earlier this week. Send me the link later. Because I'll forget. I how to do that. God. Hey, dude. Forward it to me on Instagram. All right, guys. Have a good one, guys. See you, buddy. Bye. Have fun with the fam. So this is uh, my latest TRM, and I don't think they make these anymore. But this came in a three-way trade. This is the Atom. This is their little slip joint. And I think you guys were here when I took it apart, because you would think it's a double detent, because it's not solid, but it's actually got spring in both titanium liners. So if you watch the butt of it, it moves. And then locks in half stop. See you, Kathleen. Are you leaving, sweetie? But I keep putting wicked wax on this and uh, keeping it in my slip. And they even put wicked wax in my slip. And it just leeches it out of this. Uh, this is what I use on all my blades and on my. Uh, some of you guys want it in giveaways. I need to get some more from Fred to Pre's to Pre's Forge. But I take this stuff and just lightly, I'm going to show you what this one side looks like after I get it rubbed in. But it's also great for coating your blades, your hardware. But it really richens up that micarta. However, I've done that like three times and it's wax, right? So it soaks in, but the leather leaches it out. Don't get it. Space Ghost, what's up? You're exactly right on the uh, on the clones. However, the uh the ones that Grateful Panic, or the one that Grateful Panic ordered as an experiment from AliExpress, I think was the exact same knife. Maybe in different blade steel. It claimed to be in a lesser blade steel. Um, but it was, it was so close. So that's what that scale looks like. Now, I should have taken off the pocket clip. And I guess if I left it out of the little slit, it might take it better. But I can highly recommend Wicked Wax. I don't have a link for them or anything, but it's an American-made company. He also has some stuff called Wicked Clean. He sent me some samples that I'll put in giveaways. This is kind of like a real light flitz for getting goop off your blades. Um... Yeah, if only if the name, that's that's my take on it. I mean, if, I don't know, as a consumer, they might have an agreement because they know it's different makers. And for somebody like me who bought an Ethan Grow EF225 and gave it away, after that, I bought two Protex uh, Striders and one Strider Strider. So they might be smart enough at Strider to know that it might be a gateway into the real thing and it's in no way going to compete with people buying real striders because like you said it's not claiming to be a strider it's claiming to be an ethan grow so i'm going to check i like the flame too beefer it's a it's a great knife. I took it apart and put some um, 
slick them all on the washers and cleaned up the washers and the action is just buttery and then Satu's grind on it is just gorgeous Blade Walker, welcome, brother. Good to see you, my man. I'm trying to find a place to sit my flipping coffee where it doesn't flip over. But yeah, we did a late night last night. Um, even though it was portrait, after that live ended, it got 1.2 thousand views. I don't understand that. Only time it's off the off. Yeah, I mean, th that's and that does piss you off because a lot of people want to try a design um, and don't necessarily want to. Yeah, and like I said, that that start that Afen Grow two two five is a great work knife. I mean, if you're gonna, you, I mean, it's I've took it apart. I tried to find flaws with it anywhere I could. And I couldn't. I mean, it's just a really well, I mean, except for the design difference. Be for Baron. Member for 10 months. Thank you, buddy. Make sure you leave a comment in that video. Jay, evening, bud. Good to see you, my friend. Channel member. I've got the giveaway video that I posted late in the week up in the uh, top. And it's for this Tucson. M390 to seal liner lock. Sweet. I think it's the Moksar Moktari. Moksar Moktari design, hollow grind, compound grind. Hadn't cut anything but paper. Also has a front flipper. Boom. And then I've got a little swag pack that we'll give away too. Snow Trog, what's up? Tori Casey, channel member, got some pizza. Awesome. Yeah, you guys know I'll be running out to probably get uh, Mexican pizzas tonight. But um, all you channel members, if you haven't had a chance yet, please, please, please leave a comment. I was just going to pull it out of the channel member list, but I always think I should at least, you know, if, if I only do it in a video, there are less chances, so you guys have a better chance. Um, that's funny, Palmer. Um, so yeah, just make sure if you, you register for that and I'm going to check just for shits and giggles, how many, it's hard for me to find that content too. I've got to go to here, there, and there. So we have, we have. 49 comments so right now it's a one in 49 and i'm sure some of those are duplicates that's funny shop guy what are rico's anthony i'm out of the loop on so much stuff guys i've literally been on a buying freeze which for me it's kind of been withdrawals. A, not having the mailman coming every day, and B, not browsing websites for stuff to review. That's why my videos are kind of taking a look at because I've got so many knives. I thought about doing back when we couldn't do knives live. I thought about doing a 24-hour stream just going through my collection. I think it would take with what I've got left. It would take a good four or five hours. Tell us a superlative is a fantastic. I've got mine right here. I did. This little guy right, chill. M390, just a little chunk. Kind of got a Vox Nez feel, even though it's not. really one is the griffin these are oem by best tech but the scout medic and the scout 2.5 they also have a folder 
I am Palmer probably four hours from Brother Jim. Maybe three and a half. I'm not a big fan of the folders, but I saw Stasa's cut test and review on this, and I picked one up on Nassdale. And then when these came back in stock, I picked one up. And tell you a funny story about this, I wanted it to match this one. So they were sold out of carbon fiber. The only one they had left was the titanium handles, which I've got somewhere, and they're the most expensive. So I ordered the titanium handles, and I ordered the carbon fiber scales, which were like another 70 bucks. So it was a crazy expensive Scout Medic. Well, when Combat Beads processed the order, they credited back me the entire price of the carbon fiber scales and basically gave them to me for free, which I thought was really cool. I'm North Blade Walker. I'm at the north of the state, and if I'm not mistaken, Jim's kind of at the south east of the state not south but little south of mid yeah we didn't do any meetups we were gonna go to uh and do one we're probably gonna still do it dark gravity and i he, he might pop in here later we're talking about it we've got a venue saint nick's knives in athens but it's just getting it scheduled but this is a great little knife. My favorite small fixies. And I've really gotten into them like today. I'm carrying an Amsler Tools. Small Hurricane. This isn't the Mini. The Mini is this one right here. This one's in Magna Cut. A little scalpel and this one is an s35 but for opening packages and just slicing shit little shit it works very well and then i carried my uh mcnees in my right pocket where did it go yeah right there and then i carried the atlas edgy what is up brother Hey, I have not forgotten you on the ulti clip. I even got a bag. I thought it had a template in it too. I just got to get smaller envelopes. I'm waiting for them to come in, buddy, because all I've got is 12 by 10. So if you're in North Alabama in the next few days, for any reason, if you and your wife are up here, let me know and I'll meet you and bring it to you. If not, I'll mail it to you next week. Good to see you, brother. We were talking about, uh, before Scotch bailed, we were talking about clones versus copies. And a lot of people, you probably included, nothing wrong with it, don't see the difference. It is just semantics. But we were talking about the ones on AliExpress that claim to be another maker's knife versus the one that we both know about that will go without names. that doesn't call itself that. Good to see you, buddy. Colby, what is up? Any of you, Mimo, good to see you, brother. Fig Doozle, all you channel members, please go leave a comment. How is Kyle Coonley, brother? Oh, like I said, if, if you're up this way, dude, I've got you. That one right there, I'm taking off. I've got the bag for it, but I thought it had a drilling template in it. You probably won't need it because it slots, but um, I just have those 12 by 10 envelopes. I've got so many uh, ulti clips, and I need more because I've really gotten away from Scout Carry. And I'm so bummed that Savant Knives no longer makes knives. Somebody left a comment on my short, and I need to go reply to it, that this guy was out of Rhode Island who made these little knives. This is a little 3V Savant Simpleton. And it's just an elegant little knife. But he's not, his website's not alive anymore. His Instagram, there's no... uh yeah, exactly, Edgy. And and Scotch, which I get at his point too, he doesn't seem 
to see a difference. He thinks they're equally shitty. And I think under the law, there's a difference in counterfeit and copying. This guy it used to be called uh, Servant Knives, S-E-R-V-A-N-T. And this is the simpleton. Um, I did a review on it a couple of days ago. Great little fixie. But my favorite, I've got two of these. This is a little American dude named Tyler Denny. And he makes this little knife called an apprentice. This is the version two. The difference is it's got removable scales and he moved the choil ball. This is a version one. Because this one is in crew wear, but my version one is acid etch magna cut. But it has pinned on scales, which what I was telling Tyler, he makes fat carbon scales. And they're really a simple scale design that now that he's made these where they'll come off, he ought to sell or offer scales. It's just another profit center. But if you look at this plunge grind on the V1 versus the V2, it moved back to give you about an additional quarter inch. They're just beautiful little knives. This is the satin. And this is the uh, acid etched. Problem is, he's got a real job. He makes them all himself, just like my buddy Paulius in Lithuania, who makes these by hand in his garage. It's not American made, but it is made by hand by a dude who really makes likes knives. And he makes different knives besides this little Angus. Angus scalpel no shane just knows that shane is an orator so to be an orator you've got to be able to stand in the back of the room and project your thoughts to the whole room and shane does that eloquently with his text and then another little knife that has really where is it This little guy, and I tried to do a TKL video when these were open for reservation again. Cause this little nice, like 150 bucks, an 80 CRV or AEBL, and I might have missed those letters up. But what make them cool is they look stonewashed, but they've got a nitron borite coating on them, which is the same coating that they coat the big. MGs, PPUs, the interiors. So it's a really resilient coating. I've sharpened the shit out of it a bunch of different times on my little uh, work sharp field sharpener. I've cut stuff with it. It carries tiny, but it's got that front finger choil. So this for me is a four finger knife. For you real size guys, it's gonna be a three finger knife, but you've still got that little dangly. And it is slicey and thick. All these knives, these tea kettles, which are made over in Georgia, probably about 30 minutes from Shane Shane. This is the biggest one I've got, an Outer Limitless Accomplice. All of them are more tactical. They're not thin slicer knives, but they're really good knives. I enjoy them. But... Where was it? This is a weird little knife. I know, Edgy, the reason, and I haven't found one of those on there. I appreciate what Colin does with design work. You know, so I know there's margin there, but I also know that running a business, there are a lot of expenses that are bs but this little knife right here was one of jason's early knives 
just a little tool steel, dark altum, really thick, 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 but try not to stab Tippy while she's sleeping. But as thick as it is, it's still got bite. And I've got so many of these little knives. And guys, this was when he threw it up on Instagram. I want to say it was 80 bucks. This one, which I need to send to Joe when I get cash. This one I picked up for 40. It's just a little micarta razor knife, not refined, just a little to me a novelty, right? But I dig it. And like I said, he's gonna hopefully jump in at some point because he's got Edgy, you wanna come up? Are you available? I'll send you a link. I can move my knives. But I was gonna show you guys what he's been doing he got a bunch of uh where is it he got some s35 and some magna cut i will angie oh let me go right here i have to do it on edgy edgy american it is on its way brother uh oh where is it? come on damn it there you are no account found what's that mean Hold on, buddy. This is giving me some weirdness. I clicked on it. So now let me see if it'll let me just post chat. All right, there you are. Boom. Paste. See if you got that link, brother. And then I was going to show you guys real quick because I'm not looking at the chat. I apologize. But I am going to show you. what hopefully we'll get to see tonight i don't know if they've already shipped out let's just do this boom tell me if y'all can see that that is a little 0.009 thousandths behind the edge a little chopper um and then this little G card, which is kind of a combo pry bar knife. This was 80 bucks or 50 bucks. And then you got this little letter opener. I mean, I just think that's cool stuff. I don't know about y'all, but I'm a fan and I really like this little guy. in the ultim another one of those little letter opener cards but these right here are all uh if i'm not mistaken all magna cut and magna cut uh jcal v2s and just wanted to show you guys a couple things. So really liking how thin I was able to get it on the preheat treat grind without having any weirdness, right? Um, so after I clean that up, dude, we're going to be looking at some super slicey blades. Look at that. And remember, this is preheat treat ground. So I still got to go through and clean everything up. And then like, look at this chingus right here. 
think this one is a hollow grind. Same thing. How thin it is. And I still have to go through and clean everything up. This should be a slicey little batch of knives. Here's another one. This is a flat grind. Same thing. Sorry if it's not focused. Oh, wait, well. the ones at the bottom. Anyways, oh. super excited, man. Have a great April oh, Fool's Day. Yeah, yeah. I think those ones. Just pulled out the first batch of Magna uh, 45s. This little guy. Happy fixed blade Friday. So on this next run of knives I do on these little four inch bangers and then the little uh 5.78 inch long J Cal ish knives I'm doing in Magna Cut. I'm going to be focusing more on like thickness or should I say thinness behind the edge, um, heat treat. Um, I'm basically just going to do what I do, but I'm really going to try to refine everything. Um, I'm even. Cool, cool stuff. I like these too. What's he call this? Dash. That looks like a good little EDC scalpel. There's Edgy. What's up, brother? What's going on, man? Dude, I'm just hanging out. I'm, uh, Pocket Metal was working on stuff. He might jump in. Um, Jason might jump in in a little bit. And, uh, yeah, I want an Aries too, guys. I got to review one and it was nice. I thought what you had an Aries. I was just reviewing it. Maddie sent that by for me to check out. I sent it on to Bluminati, and it was going back to Scott. I got you. I like the little, I forget what it's called. That's the Bloom, which is a good size, especially for regular size people. Yeah. But for me, I like this little, I think it's called the Pear. Hold on, let me find it. You tell you, you tell you what is exciting me, John. What's that, buddy? Is, uh, not just him, but people like Jason Grant. You, you know my feelings on having a knife made in China. So I can get into that. But the fact that it seems like his passion now is more leaning towards things that he's made. And I would much rather have something that he's made than something that he had made. And not only that, but we've got to follow along, mostly through you, the evolution of what Jason makes, you know, he, he's just like he said, you know, he's, he's constantly refining his product. You know, he's getting into these super thin grinds and stuff that, that turns me on. And, uh, it's just great to see. I, I, I love watching, you know, him progress because, uh, you know, I just got my still in for my first batch. And when I sell them, you know, I've got to be honest with people, you know, there's things that I haven't perfected yet. You know, they're not going to get a uh, an absolutely perfect knife from me. But a lot like Jason, I'm constantly uh, want to make a better product. And it's great to see him making a better and better product. You know, his well, choices have improved. His geometry is improving. You know, he's concentrating on the right things. So and I'm it comes really, from not being afraid, like you're not, to be humble about what you're doing look for feedback and then you've got such a community of resources from brian to satu to jason jason's been working he tells me the guy's name i forget a really nice custom knife maker who's been helping him with his heat treats yeah. about how he double wraps stuff now which i don't know anything about it before he i forget the the whole deal but you know well, see, there, there's so many people that you would think would be competitive and i'm sure some of them are but there's so many people willing to share yeah what's well, so what well, you know I, I i mentioned i mentioned selling knives way too early because my original plan was to release some knives in 1084 because i didn't feel like they needed to be any better steel than that for what they were designed for and it's something that's simple to heat treat but my passion for heat treat led me to not releasing those knives at all you know i want to do something better and because i know i'm not a metallurgist you know i don't know if this is supposed to be common knowledge or not but brian kim is going to do my heat treats that's a major hurdle 
I don't have to concern myself with that because I know that one of the best, if not the most controversial in the industry, is going to be doing my heat treats. I don't have to worry about that. One of the most, and I'm not going to use the word discriminating because it's in context, one of the most perfectionist guys who sells blanks or offers them on lotteries that I don't see any blims with. He is the hardest critic on himself, and I can't think of anybody better, especially with small batches, to work with. Um, I don't know who does Dustin's. I don't know if he sends them to Peter's, but we need to take a trip over there, Shane, and just visit with him. I just recently joined his his Facebook uh, page. See that little knot right there? Yeah. That locks in right there. Yeah. So that's that main retention point. But he just makes those, and I'm sure he would, and I know Jason does his on the jimping on some of them where he makes little points where the jimps catch in. Right. But fixed blades, to me, I used to not even look at them. And to well, me, right that's what's holding me up more than anything. I have several blades made that I have no intentions of selling, but I'm using them as templates, I guess you could say. And... Uh, I almost want to sell them without a sheath because this, the sheaths are holding me back. I'm not a professional sheath maker. Um, however, I don't poll. have I don't have the funds to have them made. So, well, let's let's do a poll because most people I know it's a waste to put a commercial clip on a sheath, which most makers do. I, I like know because everybody's going to do something different. So. I bought a bunch of J-Cals that I just haven't had a chance to send to uh, Lancelot Levy yet when I was able to because I had cash flow. He was busy, and since I have not had cash flow, I haven't been able to, but it hadn't kept me from getting those knives. I knew they were coming without she's. Yeah. What do you guys, because there are companies like Artemis, which is where I got my uh, Kydex sheath for my bull trout, which I think was like 40 bucks and then you can go to lancelot and tell me if i'm off here edgy aren't they about 80 90 bucks without a clip yeah I think without a lot of the, the fancy stuff but just a good key um how would y'all feel about a fixed blade that did not come with a sheath i'm sure most people are going to say it depends on the price i'm i'm trying to stay under a hundred dollars and uh you know, that's under $100 for, you know, performance heat-treated CTM-154 in a small, pocketable fixed blade. But, uh, you know, I mean, I've got the... I've got the uh, it's a fixed blade, Stephen. Yeah, I've got the materials here. I just... Uh, the reason why I haven't taken any orders or taken any money yet is because I don't want to send something out and the, the sheath be you know, not up to people's expectations. I'm not a sheath maker. Steven's making a good point. That's a larger volume guy. Tim and Suzanne, yeah. super, super nice people. I'd even reach out on your behalf to see how quickly and how cheaply he could do that for. Cause all it is, you have to, have, you get a little press. Amazon has them for like 60 bucks, but, and then you just get that material, which is very inexpensive. And once you, you just lay it over and Right. I think it's like a grilled cheese sandwich. Right. I, I may drop the first 10 without just, and I'll be honest with you guys why I'm going to have to do that. Um, you know, I'm not doing a pre-order. I'm not, I'm not selling as designed to China. I'm having to do it myself. But uh, and I, I've got that many too, at least. I'd like to get those first 10 sold so that I can better, even better my equipment and my capabilities. You know, to move on to my next step, I want a larger wheel. Right now, I can't can't buy a larger wheel. I could, if I sell what still I have now, if I can get all those made and sell them, I can get into a larger wheel. So if people don't mind not having a sheath or having their own sheath made, I don't mind, uh, you know, I, I don't mind selling them that way because I can tell you if I have to wait on everything to have a sheath, um, just like making knives, guys, I'm going to make probably 20 sheaths that I throw in the garbage. You know, um, and I'm not. Yeah, you have to have their startup costs to get right. even to where you're comfortable making one that retains. Right. I've got 1084 knives right now I can sell that I'm perfectly 
comfortable with. When you Jason know? pops on, talk to him about that because he started not making them and then his kayaks, I don't even know. He might have just put together two pieces of metal. I don't know how he, if he bought a machine or if he just fashioned something. The press, the press is super simple. It, it's, it's, you know, make the presses. But like you said, it's not just having the press. It's, uh, you know, there's some design aspects that go into that, just like you said, so that, you know, some people want that sheath to shoot off the knife when they, when they push it, you know, where, where do you put that little, you know, the little thumb rest so that when you push it, you put it in the wrong spot. When you push it, you may be tilting the, the, the sheath into the, the edge. You know what I'm saying? There's, it's not right. as simple as it sounds. Great you know, example. And I'm doing a lot, like, a lot like with Jason until I find a design that I'm happy with making a lot of, I'm going to be making a lot of small batch, different designs. This is one of my favorite knives, probably one of the best made, and the sheath could have been done so much better. Yeah. It looks just like the other sheaths, but when you sheath, look, different sheaths are meant to do different things. But like you know, Snowcrog said, heavy retention if you're hanging it upside down from the Alice, you know, from the straps on your Alice pack. That's a different thing than one that goes in your pocket, and all you need is a little, you know, just a little snap of retention to keep it from falling out. Yeah, because it's going to be vertical. Right. And if you're wearing something like this, it's got to be hard to pull out. Right. But um, like Snowtrog said, I think there are a lot of people that are looking to get a sheath made, right? If they like the blade, they're going to ditch whatever it comes in. Well, Snotrag made another. Good, he says, if you carry pews, there's a big difference in a well-made holster and a garbage-made holster by someone experienced. He's absolutely right. right my thing is i don't want to waste a whole bunch of time and money and even have to charge a customer more for a sheath that's not well made that but 70 I'm, or 80 percent of the people are going to get rid of right yeah how many of us have bought knives with a, a perfectly functional sheath and thrown it away something different? you know i'll probably forget that but i'll reach out to you if you win and just remind me and have a great night buddy and your uh, package did not go out today, but it is going out tomorrow. It is stamped and set up. Good. What is up, Brother Zach? Good to see you, my man. Kyle Coonley. Yeah, so my, you, buddy, my plan is just to get into a super thin, super slicey. 90, 90, 90 or 63, 64 HRC S90V pocket knife or pocket fixie but um that's not what i'm that's not what i'm making first you have to work your way to all that stuff you weren't uh lurking in lefties live last night when the steel conversation happened were you no i would have i would have lost my mind no you were you were you were mentioned it was uh i know but i've already heard some things that was said and i would have lost my mind had i been there about the s90v versus the magnetite yeah Look, look, I'll just say this, John. Down today for us. I'll just say this. If all you know and all you're dealing with is, is, that a Chinese, blast in the past? Chinese, is Chinese heat treats, then you probably just shouldn't even be talking about one still being better than another. Correct. Um, he was prefacing it with when you're dealing with Chinese knives, right. i.e. Right. who he's dealing with. So that whole conversation was a waste of time. But don't you think, and I don't know any of the metallurgy, that's why I wish you were there. Don't you think that some of these more established materials, older, they are more equipped to do closer to what we would consider acceptable, optimal, than something that we've seen time after time again, M390, uh, Magna Cut comes back way too soft. And I know it's not going to yes, ever I, be I would rather have better than this we did 154 cm as i would have chinese m390 or s90v or any of that just get get give me what i'm paying for if, if i'm gonna pay for a super steel and it's been labeled then make it super i don't i don't i'm not interested in a mediocre super steel that's just now not everybody cares and i get that but I, it, it is very frustrating to hear somebody talking about it 
from a Chinese production point of view, because that's not that's not how how we that's not how we should be grading steels by how well China does them. No, no, and I, and I don't think that was the his point. I think his point was, you know, he's hoping that this uh, what's that knife company that this are uh, the surgical guys? Yeah, like, like, yes. Yeah. He's hoping that that American growler goes well with them, you know, and then it's a totally different conversation. But he's just talking about. Um, but if he's used to making two hundred dollars a knife, how much is that thing going to be? I don't think they're making that much. You don't think? I think when you look at what their costs are, and their costs being, they've just started taking a little bit for themselves. And to put it back into the business and to keep a little of a balance so you don't have to do pre-orders, I don't think they're clearing twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars a drop in profit. But I could be wrong. I you know, know, I don't know why he would, you know, shoot because yeah. he didn't say. He even said last night, if I tell you how much the Stouts and Van X cost me, you're going to immediately think I'm selling them for too much. But there are other things when you're looking at a, just a five-year plan for a business and you know you want to grow it to some extent to where you can at least get people the knives they want. Um, and I, I respect them for trying to keep... So how's a, how is a Manix 2 and a Super Steel $130? Because I think they're making an absolute shit ton of them, just like we yeah. were talking about earlier. So who's, is that I mean, our fault? No, no. We'd be it's paying not. extra for that. That's why everybody votes with their dollars, right? Mm -hmm. I, I buy and like Devo knives. One, because I support Lefty and Colin, but more importantly, I think their designs are kind of unique and I enjoy them. Um, and I bought every one of mine. Choice. And Brett Ingram, you're 100% right. If, if you're saying that universally, S90V is way better at edge retention than 154 it's not way better at toughness but a well heat treated 154 can outcut a shitty heat treated s90 so th that and that's the problem we, we've all we've all labeled these steel as these steels as what they're supposed to be but we're not always getting what they're supposed to be when we buy them no and for years we weren't even getting American the right companies. steel compositions so american companies do that shit too but you know people get tired of hearing hearing people like me bitch about it and i get it um but you know kershaw making that video showing them testing their magna cut at 63 that would have never happened if it wasn't for people like steve or whoever bitching about hrcs that's not that's the only thing that keeps those people in check protect wouldn't have changed theirs hogue wouldn't have changed theirs had we not bitched about it you know we have to hold these makers nose to the grindstone to make sure they're giving us the best product we can get for our money so you know i say hats off to all the people who are raising hell about it and questioning how good is this heat tree you know if you don't care there's nothing it wrong with that you, but it still benefits us who aren't as particular about heat it trees really does if you buy a hogue right now you're getting a better product than you would have if it wasn't for people raising hell about it on the on the internet they would have used that if nobody had said anything i totally agree with that yeah and i'm just one of those weird guys who and i'll openly admit it i just don't use my knives enough and i really like sharp but, but I can I tell the difference. Of, I don't use I don't use all three hundred forty horsepower in that that LS in my front yard either. But, but I don't want to know it. To sell it to me without it. Yeah, I want to know it's there. And Zach, Zach brings up a good point. Greg Medford is done with Magna Cut. He said, "Which is it? Good luck." He says, "Too difficult for his crew to work with." Hey, hats off to him, man. If you can't make it good, don't use it. I I don't have an issue at all with buying S forty five V in if you're better at it. This S90 does is tits. The steel pieces. One of the most admirable things Rick Hinder has ever done was move on to move back to S45. 
because everybody says that it's good. If that's what you're good at, man, sell that. I'll promote it all day. You don't have to. I don't have to have Magnica. It's I not, like his CV better personally. I, I, but I don't. I yeah, don't I just, about it. But like you said, John, I'm 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 nearly in the same boat you are in my usage. I don't need it. I truly don't. You know, Spider Co. Standard O S thirty V Benchmade's S thirty V is better than I'll ever need. So, you know. That's true, Jeffrey Dawson. And also, there's a lot to be said, and one shouldn't be sacrificed for the other. But geometry, I think that was brought up last night, is also going to is going to affect edge retention. So if you have a better heat-treated knife Kyle, with Kyle less... And I, Kyle and I had a conversation about this very thing, John. One of the last knives that Gerald at Outpost 76 tested on his charts was in Magna Cut, but it was Transparent Knives Magna Cut. It outcut everything he had ever tested. It outcut S90V. But wasn't it super thin too? Exactly. Was it the 64 HRC Magna Cut or was it Brian's geometry? That made A combination it of both, I would say. Both. I would say exactly. you, want, yeah. you want that combination of, again, and that uh, goes back to what's the knife can, for? Can you so use we don't Brian's want knives thin hinderer. Can you use Brian's knives to pry open the paint can? I wouldn't. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't use my Maximet pair of two to pry open a paint no, can either. No. You're, you're exactly right. There, there's no winning this convert this these these arguments. I they're just, not arguments, they're debate. I think they're interesting because I learn. I, yeah. I've learned A that the knife nerd website exists, right? So right. that's something I didn't know existed. And I've learned that Roll Shambo, I haven't gone and watched it or seen Roll Shambo's reading the same shit I've been reading for eight years. But it's I mean, is it sounds it sounded like he presents it in a way that's easy to understand, or is he presenting it objectively? I haven't watched it yet. He's a re he's a radio DJ and a used car salesman. He's he's naturally gonna present it in a much more palatable form than I can. But is he presenting it accurately? I guess is my point. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't watch uh, enough. And But you got to remember, two people can read that chart and come to two completely different conclusions. Absolutely, because we're not metallurgists. We don't take right. into consideration all two the different... Two metallurgists metallurgist can read it and come to two different conclusions. Because one metallurgist may work for a company that's making tooling dies and the toughness is all that matters. And one, maybe in the knife industry where edge retention and geometry is what matters. And, and you know, the, the edge stability, how thin can you grind it before it's, before it's garbage? You know, all, all that matters. But, Shane, have you tried out the button lock yet from AW, ABW? I've heard it's awesome. I have not. I was supposed to get one early and without any better excuse, he forgot me. <laughs> you probably told him to sell it like you did at Blade Show when he tried to well, give you Yeah, one. I mean, I've always told him, you know, don't let me hinder you from a sale. But, but I bet that would be perfect for your, for your hand, right? I mean, because it's still a flipper, but the button, I would think, would be yeah. just right up your alley. Yeah. What's yeah, up, I'm man? Still, I'm still a big fan of, of flippers because they work so it worked so good for me you know as to to date my favorite button lock is still you know yeah i need to admit it it's a it's a chinese made this thing has been flawless and you I know the ones we bought shane had I, uh these were actually flawed the ones we bought in nashville i wasn't impressed at all you know why because right. it had detent lash because i sent this back to protec after talking to them they said that this batch had an issue and instead of repairing it, they replaced it. And yeah. dude, it is cash money now. You need to check it out. Well, if you'll remember, I sold mine to Jared and he's in the car because of detent lash. Exactly. Exactly. But they they realized it and replaced. I mean, they replaced mine just because I reached out and said, Can y'all check this? Should I even be worried about it? And the lady called me and said, Absolutely, there should be no detent lash. When did you get it? And I said, I think it was the National Knife Show. 2022 was it 2022 or 2020 it was 2022 yeah um, and she said yes send it back and she I had to put in a 15 dollars check for him to ship it back which i didn't mind it was only gone for eight days yeah 
total out of my hand. Forest SLRs is 100% correct. With Forest, say, let me find them. Have you, ever, have you ever took the time to strop a utility razor blade? Because trust me, they're not as sharp as they can be when you take them out of the pack. If you really put a good stropping on one of those, it's mind blowing how sharp they get. Oh, I would bet you could get all kinds of little micro imperfections Forrest out. Probably spends thirty seconds swapping his blade out, where we're going to spend thirty minutes sharpening ours. <laughs> Come back, Scotch. <laughs> Next is my good talk. Yep. I wish, yeah, I wish I could have caught it. I was trying to watch when Scotch was on because I love what little he gets to speak. I love hearing anything he has to say. But I was on the phone with Kyle and I had it muted. And sure enough, as soon as we got off the phone, Scotch backed out. But uh, David, welcome, buddy. Cheeto, welcome. All you channel members, make sure you leave a comment in the link that's pinned. And then I've got some other swag stuff that we're going to do a little. I've got out. My, my favorite controversial topic lately, though, and I said it in here tonight, is I have, I, I have, I feel zero, I feel nothing for these people who are having knives made in China. And then their knives end up on AliExpress for, for 50 bucks. Um, you have to understand that when you go into business with those people, you're signing up for that. They're going to, if it becomes popular and they see an opportunity to make a dollar, they're going to sell your exact same knife made on the exact same assembly line, the exact same materials for what it actually costs, 50 bucks. So I don't think they have a, a right to complain. Yeah, I hope John over at EMP, EDC does great, but the fact that his knives ended up on AliExpress, that's on him, man. The, the moment you hit send and you send that cab to China, it's your fault. From, but from dude, and I agree with that. But if you go to AliExpress, like the ones where you just this G this Fuel knife store, yeah. they buy American knives and reverse engineer them too. Because right. there's some, uh, of course, look, there's some uh, Chris Reeves. They're so, and, and they're, they come in the boxes. So these are like legit. These are people selling you shit. You can take to trade day and, and try to sell us the real thing at a deal. And th that's a lie that that's, that's criminal. What they're doing. I agree. I agree. I mean, it's just, uh, yeah. Cause did you see uh Greg's video where he did the, uh, unboxing of the one yeah. that came from China. Yeah. That's uh, a really poor example though. Yeah. That was very poor. That Pretoria. Yeah, yeah they, they. Well, I, I, it may make Greg that even matter. On the box. It may make Greg even matter to find out that there's much better versions of his knife that they sell over there. That's a lot closer. I mean, that well, there's like, one site that uh, Panic told me about clinging something or crank, cranking something. Not plan works, but it's a. Uh, it's just a weird site. They have about nine different models, and one of them is the Marauder. Yeah, it's like 189, but it's allegedly awesome. That's where that, that's where that uh, SMAF or DOC that I had came from. It wasn't a, it wasn't the fifty dollar effing growl. This this was a really well made full titanium. Uh, Dopey has it now, um, and I was glad to have it. I, I I I wanted to experience it just to see how good they were and how much they're copying them. You know, and I don't know if Scotch and things has heard this story before, but you're talking about revert. They're, they're reverse engineering on a perfection level. Like you, oh, yes, you, you can literally, you, you can buy that thirty-five dollar Benchmade bug out from AliExpress. Take that tuna can steel blade that they put on, throw it in the garbage. Buy a, a reblade, one of Brian's blades that he took off to reblade a, a legit bench. And it fits perfectly. Like, and that's the like. It, it's a like perfect reverse engineered. The parts are all exact. No one's saying like they're not like they're and they're just like with American. I mean, there's different levels of quality. Right. And no one is saying they're not good knives. Right. They're exceptionally well made. That makes me even matter though. I wish but they're they doing were. it for a reason. Hold yeah. on. Come on. I wish they were garbage, but 
It, it, it doesn't take much, guys. You you can take a knife apart and lay it under a scanner, a, a high dollar scanner. It scan each part, and and it computer generate the CAD for every one of those parts and spit them all out, and you have the exact that that exact. Now, are the materials as good? Who knows? I, you know, I couldn't tell you, but it's scary how good they are at it. Oh, but yeah. No one's saying they're not exceptionally well made knives. High yeah. quality. Are there heat treats? I mean, who knows when it comes to that? Because I watched a video of just blades going through on a conveyor belt. Right. Through heat. I but mean, there's no so, consistency. Yeah. But that's just one thing. Do they have actual heat treating ovens? Yeah. There's just all levels. But like, I mean, there, it's an entire, they've specialized, um, their entire culture is specialized in perfecting certain things. Like, this city makes knives this city makes electronics this city, i mean they've gotten very good at focusing in and, and, and perfecting something but it's going to come to an end it's going to end there's just so many god damn i just get tired of and that's just my opinion they all kind of blend together yeah i mean it's just one titanium frame lock and, and I get it, that, that, that pride and ownership doesn't exist for everybody some people feel nothing for that you know that don't mean anything to, i know it does to you scott and things yeah you know and, and i know it does to me i would have never carried that strider clone in public you know i would have never shown it off to anybody like i said i was just i was it was given to me first of all but and i was glad to have owned it just to be able to experience what they could do and how good they are at it you know, but it wasn't a positive thing for me. It, it actually kind of made me sick that it was as good as it was. You know, and like Javon That's Shaver, how I felt that, that like Chavez fake, like so. And then do you fault like these makers? So, you know, Ramon made customs and he had mid text done over here. But I was talking with Satu about it. Like, man, I've had a couple American made Chavez's, same fucking pivot as the Chinese Chavez. Yeah. I mean, and they're really hard to tell the difference. One of them's a thousand dollars, one of them's four hundred dollars. Yeah. And now you can go get on AliExpress or whatever a Chavez for twenty nine dollars. I think really it was more than that, but you're close. Yeah, he's getting paid from Riyadh. So Did, uh... I got lost. Jason B and Demon Hawk having a conversation about that Solaris. I was just curious what they were talking about because that is that available. That thing looks intriguing. That's that hard. American made Integral, right? Or oh, no? what's no, it called? It's, I'll Ryan, Google it. it's a Chinese made button lock. Oh, what's the oh, I thought there was a Integral American made. Maybe it's not an Integral. I don't know. I saw people. Fuck, I don't know. But so I was gonna say, Jason B, if you're if you're interested in that knife, reach out to me. <sighs> because uh, if you're interested in it, dude, just you can have it. And don't buy from AliExpress. Pay up the. I think Beef Baron's fucking with us, but I mean, at least if you're gonna buy it, buy it from Chavez, so Ramon gets his cut. Right. Ria, did I say Riyadh? But that's the problem. Those gosh of things. People don't care about that anymore. Look, that's yeah. Russian, isn't it? <laughs> Why'd they show that? What's that? That was Russian writing. Where? Well, on that video, that video was so weird. I was just watch this video. Winter hey, Blade. Hit me, me up on Instagram, buddy. I don't know Ooh, what that means. Do not show photo. So they don't want you if you do feedback, they don't want you to show a photo. That's sketchy. But 139, so that tells me that's probably the same. Best tech made. I didn't see what they came in, but here's the Chavez, Shane, Shane. Yeah. Kick stops. But that's, 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 Shane, that's a very good question. You know I've talked about, about this. Why, why I don't it, think people understand, like, Best Tech, Riot, Kung Wu, all that bullshit. Like, it's all the same thing. Like, there's, it's not different. They're different brands to you. They're different awesome. marketing companies. Yes. Like I, I, when I started this whole argument with, with Lefty years ago, 
which started all the friction between us, I didn't go into it blindly. I had zero intentions of losing an argument to Lefty, of all people. I love Kevin. I actually have, I actually have a, a close friend right here in Gadsden, Alabama, that was Korean. He's Korean by, his bloodline is Korean. Family was sold into slavery in China. They escaped China through Taiwan and are now here in the United States living very successful lives. He still has cousins working in these Chinese plants that make all these knives with all these different brands. It's the only reason I'm, I wouldn't make it up. I, I definitely wouldn't argue it with a guy that has connections to China that could prove me wrong. And when I challenged him to prove me wrong, he was in talks with a Chinese knife manufacturer. And I said, well, just ask him, Kevin, but I guarantee you don't tell you the truth. I'll be damned, he did tell him the truth. He admitted to him. Yeah, they're all made at the same place with the same parts. It's just, yeah. it's all you're buying is, is a different design from a different, uh, from a different so company. This guy right yeah. here, that his never name made, is- That never made it to public knowledge. Colin, his name is Colin. I don't know if you can see that. Colin of Broadcasting. The dude lives a life, man. He just travels the world, but he goes to China extensively a lot. He showed it in the electronics city. It yeah. literally, you walk into a mall. Colin of Broadcast? Colin of Broadcast. And he's got two channels, but he travels all over the world, mostly in Asia, different, you know. Taiwan and biggest electronics like market that. in the world. He goes into China a lot and he's, I can't, he did it in the city where it's all, you know, electronics based, but it, that's what the entire city does. And this giant mall, like the, you know, the size of the mall of America and every floor is something different. It's LEDs on this floor. It's, you know, it's this, the, I mean, but it's cameras, it's headphones, but that's what, but that's what they do. And, and that's why they can fool. They're not trying to hide that, and we're not. Oh, no. We're not trying to say that that's evil. That's actually the smartest production plan there is. When they're putting, have, they and, when and they realize plan, they, they, they got to make different names. Out. Medford, right. Microtech, just like Best Tech, Kamu. They do that for us. Right. They. I mean. So. And I don't care if you want to buy it. I don't care. Like I said, the quality is good. That's it's always been. That's always but they been. They also quit good. complaining that American. Well, Chris, I you know you can't say. Oh my, who was I watching? You know what? Go watch um, the Knife Junkie. Yeah. Uh, Bob Demarco. Yeah. He had Carter Coates on a couple of days ago, and. He made like the perfect, you know, he was a knife collector in the knife game a long time. And he kind of got Bob into collecting or into knives or showing him stuff. But like, he was like, it was washer stuff for a long time. And then bearing stuff came in and then this and that. And like, he's, he's, he's been in the knife game for long enough to see it go from, you know, Chris Reeve and Emerson and stuff like that into and he buys American, Chinese, whatever, and he doesn't care, but it's, um, he's like, it's people now, it's like, it's not a knife anymore. It's a fidget toy, right. you know, like when people complain about that Chris Reeve needs to update and get with the times, well, no, they make this, it wasn't, you know, if you listen to Chris Reeve talk, it, it's not a fidget toy, it's a knife. You're not supposed to be, playing with it like I am all the time. You're supposed to pull it out of your pocket when you need it, use it, put it away. So. Well, yeah, I'm not that's it. Lawyer, I, it's not that I, I think that I'm being told by someone who has family there doing it. There's multiple factories. There are both, they're all the same. They're all the same. Are you in the same. Same. Faction in the night, buddy? It's, I it's can find your thumbnail. You've got one plant that has the machinery set up to punch out the, the, the liners for liner locks. They're punching out the liners for liner locks on all these brands. That, that, that's the most economical ways. You have one plant 
you know, the, you send them the, the plans for these liners. They're punching out liners. This company over here is making scales, whether they're G10 or carbon fiber, or whatever. This company, this plant, plant over here is making the knives. They all go into bins and then all these parts are, are, are assembled. So no, it's not one plant making all the knives. It's, it's a union of plants making all the parts for all the knives because they're not a capitalist country. They, they can't compete that way. It's all owned by the government. They decide who does. Yeah, what. Someone doesn't own that. It's like, like microtech owned by Anthony Marfione or right. just, you know, it's, but Hey, I don't, like I said, just go watch some of these American sheep machinists. Right. They get, they get it more than anybody. And it's their jobs on the line. And you don't have to buy their stuff, but at least think about it. Yeah. Because guess what? You might not like this. You might not like a, a McNeese. And that's fine. I don't. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't that's, like and that's totally fine. Well. But at least understand what's going on. Right. At I'm least understand them. both sides. And don't let don't let some YouTube don't let me sway you. But I just just it would be like I don't know going in blind to anything. Yeah. And you also have to question if you're listening to a YouTuber who profits from his opinion. No, I'll just leave it true. at that. Absolutely true. Yeah. Guys, Maddie, did you say you guys were going live tonight? All right. Yeah, it's all right, Paul. It's going to filter out duplicates. But everybody enter that giveaway because I'm getting ready to have to make that video private and do that giveaway so that I can do my little swag giveaway for just people in here. And Jason's going to pop in in a second. And I think Maddie's going live tonight. Well, yeah, they have said faction tonight, right? Yeah, but I can't find the thumbnail. I can never find it if if it's on okay, Maddie's so channel. So they are going. Yep. Yeah. Is it on said Stevie's or Maddie's? I didn't. They probably hadn't made the thumbnail yet. They're so creative. Have you noticed Lefty's lacking thumbnails lately? He's using AI. Streamyard's got a new AI feature where you can just click it and it'll take whatever you typed in and do a little shitty thumbnail. Ed, I've had two 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 eights. One almost swayed me against them forever because the problem with those 228s is they've been around for so long almost all of them are modded to hell and back by everybody and their mom and it it was it was but then i got one that was mint and it was awesome but the i mean it was no different than the 228 I handled of Dave's, so you know, one said American made on it and said Reach China. Out to me midnight. I only got your you think that's a big knife? knife? Come on, Javon. I know it's not a big knife for most Come people. On, Javon. It's the most ridiculous. It's that's the most knife. Ridiculous. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. If if China's gonna make knives, I'd rather I make that. And here's the thing, <laughs> they don't even care. Because the funny thing is, they've been making knives for a bazillion years. Yeah. And it, for, I mean, look at, I mean, if you think folding knives are their big money maker, it's kitchen knives. I yeah. mean, that, so, yeah, it, it, it's more kitchen knives than anything else. But they saw, hey, we make these kitchen knives for the entire world. There's a bunch of idiots that think they need more than one pocket knife. Well, let's, let's you, you, you may be the best person to talk about this in front of. I got my heart broke a few days ago. I took my granddaughter to buy her first pair of cowboy boots. Yeah. And I told her, I was like, we're going to try to buy U.S. US made cowboy boots. ATK. We went to the popular cowboy boot store here in town. Right off the bat, I asked the girl and she was like, there are no young girls american made she's like we have some men's cowboy boots that are american made so i was like well is there by chance any that are made small enough that she can buy those and they're not but my point is 
those American made cowboy boots were $200 a pair. She ended up having to buy a pair of Ariens, a popular American brand mm -hmm. made in China for $200. They're the same price. Yeah. And my they just make it a lot more margin. They started out. They start out selling you boots for half of what you can buy American for. But now that there is no option, there is no American option to buy her boots in. She has to buy yeah. Chinese. They're the same price. It is really hard. Like I look out with knives. Like you would think like, American company like, that um, think a lot the, of them do it's it. It's hard for me. Kid sizing. Just think of the adults. That's where the majority, like Red Wing. Yeah. I found because I I I'm lazy. I don't want to tie shoes at work. I don't want laces breaking. So I wear cowboy or Western style pull on steel toes at work. Well, the Red Wing Red Wing makes some, but they're not made in America. Yeah. Only some of them. And just now, recently, within the last year, I found uh, there's two companies: um, Thoroughgood out of Wisconsin, and um, Nick. Oh, shit, not Nick's. Um, God damn it! Hold on, they send me emails all the time. There, it's a Pacific Northwest. I mean, the Pacific. Start gravity. Northwest. Get in here instead of straight on American clothes. Um, yeah, you should have asked. Uh, it's not my, my whole point of all this is though is the pricing. Oh, how they save you money in the beginning, but their 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 end goal is to be where you don't have any choice to buy it from there, and then it's going to be the same price. Well, and that's what food, um, you're starting to see it in knives. How many of you guys? The have is a great example. Dollar Chinese knife. That's the a great seen, example. Like it's. Well, that's like, at what point are, are people going to see the lines blurred? Where, where do the lines cross? Where like, the, and you can still get budget knives, but now some of these, like, look at the Evo. The last Evo was $700. Right. That's more than a lot of American knives. Right. Or at what point all of a sudden have you crossed that boundary where now they're more than, but you can't, but and that's why i keep saying this archie made a great point and and um McNeese made a great point at what point like because you started here we're going to make you this awesome knife it's costing you 30 dollars. you can sell it for 300 or 400 we're losing money but it doesn't matter because eventually there won't be anybody we've made it so hard to compete with us on any level that there's no other choice there's no other choice that's not everybody is the is always you're on here bad mouth in china on your smartphone uh, why, but why? here's what i can control right. with my money and why is that though exactly because, because there's american making them. there's nobody there's no americans making them anymore because they put them out of business and, and eventually that's what these will be exactly that's all I'm trying to slow down. I don't care what and you and you won't do it with the knife and you won't do it with this or that, but it's it's just an end game. Do some research. Like I said earlier, their economy's failing. They don't have enough people because of the one child policy. Yeah. They're I mean, unless something drastic happens, they're lucky to be around by twenty fifty. Their only their only option is to take over Taiwan. Mm -hmm. And they know that. They've openly said it. For them to exist in 20 years, they have to take control of Taiwan. And American lives are going to be at risk when that happens. And and these things, in some some fashion, at some percentage, is going to finance that. Everything Chinese made is going to finance. And I had no idea. Like, when I first got into, I mean... All my knives were Chinese until I didn't even know that there were American made or Chinese. I just, I would go and be, oh, I'm going to get this SOG. SOG is the greatest thing in the world. Yeah. You know, that's, that was my world. And then I really, when I got my first Chavez, I remember because it said China on the side, even though everything did, people were talking about, well, it's Chinese made. And I had no, I was like, is that a bad thing? And it's not a bad thing. Just no. Just educate yourself and know what it means. Exactly. Know what it's doing to. I don't. I don't. I don't talk about this repeatedly 
because I'm trying to change some guy's mind about whether he likes his Civivi. Oh, and I'll never, yeah. And, and that's, that's what I'm doing. That I'm is my talking about this difference. because other people are come on and say the exact opposite. When when people quit misinforming, I'll stop talking about it. You know, I'll drop it. I don't care what you buy. I just want you to know the truth when you do it. And if other people weren't calling me out and saying that I'm a holy shit, I wouldn't still be talking about it. Oh, and here's the thing. Like, I'm lucky that these are just the designs that speak to me, you know? Right. And it's not because it's America. I, I, I like how this looks. I like how this feels. I like how it performs. You know, same. I mean, like, I love how this thing feels in my hand. So... You know, I like, you know, a slow roll, phosphor bronze. You know, I, I like bearing stuff too. Right. But I have to be in the mood for it. I loved mine, but it wasn't for me. Yeah. Because my disabilities, um, you know, a Sabenza, it just wasn't for me. Dude, I think everybody should own dumb. One. Yeah. I've been working this thing every day since Sunday. Holy balls. To get this to break in, it's yeah, done a number on me. Painful shit. Uh, now, fortunately, this I can do all day, every day, no issues. It's I mean, my thumb that doesn't work. I can't thumb flick a spider cut. I'm thinking this thing. Yeah, I'm a huge. I got it. You know, you got all the effort. You got you know, 20, 30 seconds to leave a comment to your channel member because I'm about to private it and do the drawing there so we can do the other drawing keep talking guys i mean oh, no. i mean midnight made a great point like i'm a shoe you know i love my jordans and i love my adidas and you know is there an american i haven't looked into it new balance and only some of new balances only some not only the some cheap. models not the cheap ones the majority of us buy <laughs> and not ones that look good yeah yeah, I've said this before, Dick. I wouldn't have an issue at all if some knife company startup happened in Mexico. I wouldn't have an issue buying a knife made in Mexico. No different than I have an issue buying a knife made in Taiwan. I don't have an issue buying knives made anywhere other than places that it might possibly pay for the bullets fired at my grandson one day. I know that's, that may be a, a crazy right-wing thing to think, but it's your it's your right to think that, buddy. You don't have to apologize for what makes you think the way you think. And if and you know and if they weren't if they weren't out in the open about saying it, maybe I wouldn't think it so much. You know, but they have no issue saying that's what they want. Now, how much more land around you? Know, I've done. It was just um, I've got other Sabenzas. This one was super tight, and uh, it just took me along and it's finally it's finally loosening up and you know what i don't get is like a 21 and i've heard this and i've talked to guys like the the 21 is just when you break them in there's nothing better but a 31 will never break in like a 21 and i don't know why that is it can't just be the the stupid ceramic detent ball for the lock face because that's not what the knife is riding on while it's opening and closing but i've got three 21s that are some of the smoothest knives ever and it takes a while to get but i've got a 31 i carry at work that just broke in just like that and this thing is just a mother well mine was and mine was old I got mine from Super Steel Steve. He had had it for a long time, and it's still. I when you saw that squinty face, I was making. That I made that face every time I tried to open that knife, and fifty percent of the time, I just had to grab the blade and pull it open. So I didn't enjoy it. All right, Maddie, guys. Maddie, you are you are some somewhat right, and the only thing we can do to stop that is stop buying from them. You stop buying from from companies like that. They'll, text they'll, me. Y'all throw a text up there. If you've not gotten in the member giveaway. I'll go back and well, I'll make. Manufacturing has a point. manufacturing has got a point. Yeah, people are greedy, and now it, if they don't wake up, it's going to bite them in the ass. And the knife world is a small, small, little niche. Not everybody is like a grain of rice. 
you, you can't you can't say that about, scheme of things it's a grain of rice you can't say that about chris reed you, you can't say that about medford even if you hate his shit. you can't say that about McNeese. that's my point we should be supporting those companies that aren't that way and we can everybody can everybody in here can afford it uh you know maddie's never maddie's never tried to mislead anybody about his financial situation he owns a Coney Garys. Everybody can do it. You can support those companies that don't do business the way Maddie's talking about. Everybody can do it. Does it mean baloney sandwiches? Whatever, it can be done. Dark Gravity taught me later than I wish I'd learned that five, six of EVs will get you a really nice American made knife. Right. All right, guys, I'm getting ready to spin this for the members. This is Go for ahead. the Tucson. Good luck, everybody. It's going to spin for 30 seconds, so grab a popcorn. Good luck. Who's it going to be? Then they don't have to be here either. So what I'm going to do is get my little book out. The only way I can keep up with stuff. And then I will reach out to them if they are not here. Let's see who we got. Oh, Joe is Bella. Congrats. And now, you are 100% correct, buddy. I think Joe Isabella told me he's going to have to email me. I'll, I'll reach out to him tonight. Congratulations, Joe. It's a lot of fun, guys. Ant makes a very good point. For less than $100, we could all make a perfectly good pocket knife that does everything we need it to do. If you could just borrow a angle grinder, you could do it cheaper than that. <laughs> I'm talking about buying a one by, uh, one by Congrats, 30. Congrats, Joe. I'm going to throw my email up there, buddy. I think you've got it. But just shoot me an email tonight, if you would, with your address. And I'll just be able to pull it from your email address because I've shipped to you before. It is. Um, I got to change my email address to what more. What, what did Joe win? He won one of the last two sons that I've hung on to. Let me show you. Oh, okay. This is a night morning. It's called the Sidewander. I, you know, when I first saw that, I thought that was that uh, that uh, bearded gear knife. It looks very wow. similar, but look at that little American Tonto hollow yeah. and a flat. Yeah. And it's got an almost three-quarter back spacer. Look at that drop. I love it because it's got that pear-shaped hole. And it's also got a decent front flipper. I hate front flipping. But what's good about it is it gives you a place to catch the blade. Because it does go down pretty quickly. Yeah. No one and needs to bug out, Bama Ninja. Congratulations, Joe. I disagree with you, Bama Ninja. I think if you're going to spend that money, you get you a pair of three, but that's just, just sharpen a fork. <laughs> and this is kind of a weird, a weird chat giveaway. This just is out of spite. A swag pack that I got from. Uh, Vosteed. So this is a little Vosteed worry stone that you could put a string through. Don't know what that is. Why would you put a string through it? I don't know. And then this is a little <laughs> Vosteed. <laughs> Maddie! Well, oh, I don't a little pouch. Oh, the nice thing is this I can sell more now than I bought it for. You're, and you put a string through that too. You're Scott. never making money on a brand new damn Hank. You can put a string through that hole too. Mm -hmm. But why would you? <laughs> you got a third board through that one. Weird little Volstein stickers for your not a race car. A porcelain Volstein hugger. And finally, a Vostade recyclable grocery library. Nothing huh? super exciting. I was seeing if I had a flashlight, but I don't right now. Javon, that's plenty, buddy. I know. 
Yeah. Eddie's going to like to have a blade. So what I'm going to do here is... We're I don't going buy to knives do, to make money either. I'm just saying. We're going to put myself for less than I bought stuff for. This in the comments. I'm going to pin it. No caps. Just drop Shane Shane in the comments, and I'm going to pull up the random picker if I still have that. I already gave away a knife tonight. I don't even remember the guy's name. What was it, Jason B or something? Who did you hook up? Jason B, I think was his name. He was interested in that uh, Orion Solaris. That I do the best functioning blade. It, it, it's, well, it's definitely one of the best because I uh yeah until about I, I don't I don't lie about the quality or not and it is very well done. But I, and I, I, I know we've talked about this before, but what about these idiots like ZT that have the manufacturing process? It can keep costs down for some of these guys that want to get knives made, and they can have it done over here. I don't, I don't get that either. I don't know. And guys, I'll know that. Uh, I mean, even if they don't want to make their own shit, like you're saying, why not be a OEM? Yeah. I'll load that um, little swag bag up with a bunch of stickers. I've got a bunch of other manufacturer stickers over there, and I'll throw some Javon stickers in there as well. I've got way too many of them. Cheers, guys. It's funny though because we've turned knives into fidget toys of what they are. Like, go listen to someone like Ernie Emerson talk. You know. And if you disagree with him, he'll show up to your house and stab you. <laughs> yeah. I love my little mini A100. It's just so basic that it works. And Kyle Kinley, I've gotten to wear with my little uh, work sharp field sharpener because I've been hand sharpening everything now instead of uh, using my TS Prof. I was able to match these two bevels. Kyle, I'm coming for you. I, I think has always been owned by Kai, which is a, a Japanese company. Yeah, Kaiser or uh, Kershaw. Yeah, Kershaw and ZT are owned by Kai, Kai USA. But I think everything's done here, right? I have it, Palmer. <laughs> I haven't read anything from Ernest that. Anderson. Demon Ox giving Shane Shane a howdy. Let's see how many we got. We got. 46. Y'all keep putting it in there. We got nine points. Just came up before, Palmer. I'll have to go look at it. That's a record. He seems like a pretty solid dude. What are you giving away now, Javon? Z2 is basically just a uh, um, so. swag. My little so. uh, Kurt, uh, frosty swag bag. And then I'm going to throw a bunch of stickers in there. And make this a surprise. Like one. For me. Better be with a Strider. Uh, and I'm just making sure everybody gets in there. I've only got a couple down here. It's really sad that I've got knives in like everywhere. Like literally. I had to start consolidating and hiding. My wife was like, if you leave these out when you go on the road again, I will literally sell them. I was like, you don't know how to sell. That's crazy, Palmer. I don't I don't know what people get off. First of all, this is just a John observation. And I noticed it first on Facebook. So I've got friends who are stockbrokers, who are real estate agents, who are either rabid Alabama or Auburn fans, right? And so what they do is they poke the losing team or the other team constantly, right? However, their customers are probably split 50-50. So I would think if you have any business, you don't want to encroach. Now, I guess with somebody, if, if your principles are are that strong that you want to eliminate half the people, but when it comes to college football, I don't think that's a strong enough reason. Now, maybe if you're, and I wouldn't attack anybody's faith, um, maybe their politics, but I try to even stay out of that um, just because I can't control it. Yeah, I can vote, but I think in my age, I've realized that it doesn't fucking matter. I mean, there's something else that drives the boat, right? It's not him or her or him or him. I think they get set down. And I'm not going anywhere. I'm just kind of rambling.
I'm waiting for people to get. Are y'all all shang shanged up? I've got 49 and 91 in here. But the, one, one thing you have to remember, really demon, I, I'm pulling against Alabama in the uh, Final Four, and I hate to say that, Shane, but oh, I'm I not an Alabama fan. I'm a Georgia fan. I, you know, I should be because we're both in Alabama. We should be definitely pulling for them in the right. tournament. We just know how painful it is to get Alabama fans. The only thing I care about in this Final Four is I want to see Caitlin Clark be the best there's ever been. I hope she wins everything. Who's that? Caitlin Clark. The young lady at Iowa that's broken all the NCAA records. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That little Awesome, Joe. I'll get you. Uh, I'll get you out tomorrow. As a matter of fact, it'll be about four o'clock this morning. I guess. Oh, I do want to say something about whole Ernie Emerson situation, though, guys. You have to remember, especially with older generations, we don't know what has happened in that man's life that makes him feel that way. We can agree with him or not agree with him, whatever. Um, Point I thing. I don't hate anybody for what they what they think or believe. Like I said I don't know what led them to that. So I just, I just tend to ignore. Drop a Shane Shane in the chat, Twain right. thing. Lefty, he's in here. Just, he's the the same same way. Way. You and Shane can disagree with each other. Oh, well, there's no disagreeing. <laughs> awesome, Twain thing got in. I wonder where Jason is. I know he said he had a... He was going to do dinner with the fam, so maybe he just got tied up. But guys, I do urge y'all to check out those little Magna Cut knives he's made. They look pretty sweet. Who's that? Jason. Oh, so you're not going to make it on to that? I think he might. I mean, we're going to be here till um, said faction goes live, and he pops in kind of late. Right. Usually later than early. Dude, I got a shitload of stickers just sitting here. All right, we got 50 entries. Think about the risk that Jason's taking either buying buying all these different steels and and learning by trial and error what he can and can't get away with. Man, he's got he's got sweat equity and and money in that. There's no telling how many how many he's had to throw away. Dude, he's got a drawer, and if he comes on tonight, I'll. I, He's got a drawer of knives that he wasn't happy with that any of us. I've told him, just finish them and sell them cheap. Yeah. He's like, I, I, once I don't have any inspiration for the knife, I can't work on it anymore. Once something's gone in my mind wrong, that's, I mean, I think he's very that's picky. He's a weirdo artist, though. So yeah, that's true. Artist he's a tattoo artist. artist. Yeah. He's a fun weirdo. I wish I could get out there and get him to ink me up. I think somebody was bringing their tattoo gun to Blade Show. That is not me. Somebody started that rumor too. I am not tattooing anybody at Blade Show. My hands don't work right anymore. You we were don't talking about that last. Someone said, "Who's bringing a tattoo?" I saw. Where did I hear someone's bringing? It was last night. Was it Dang Ross? You know, Kev's more into this than I am. But like, wouldn't it be awesome? Like, someone with a machine shop. If they knew there was. A bunch of knives that they could make for people that you could specialize in that i think the issue there is the number of machine shops and what they're specialized in is much more profitable to do other stuff david jewel thank you brother uh yeah i know but that's why if you had someone with those skills I was an enthusiast and thought, oh, I could well, do this. Right, okay. if, if there's something else you could be building with the exact same tools and the exact same know-how that you have now that paid you twice as much, would you not be building that? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe. They, I mean, does that is that what they're doing? Is the, aerospace world, stuff? the world really don't give a shit about knives and knives. Oh, stuff. yeah. There's no. There's there's way, way more profitable things to be doing. Missile fins. That's why you'd need an enthusiast. Right. Or someone that turned it into a business. Yeah. I don't know if y'all have ever talked to Tri-State, but he'll talk like he'll take knives to his dad. They own a machine shop, and he'll say, "Dad, what can we make this for?" And his dad will look at it, 
and they've got CNC machines and everything. I said, man, I couldn't touch this for less than a thousand bucks and hand it back to Tri-State. You know, so I think every shop yeah, has well, they're just like trying to like shoot right? away. Because there's a lot more to a business than just the few people in the machines. You've got different ways to go to market. You've got different. So I think some people could do it. What that company's market other than, I mean. Well, I know that they. Um, Who's that other, they than, other than they, the big ones? No one's marketing other than YouTube and going to play. I mean, marketing isn't going to shows and shit like shows, that. But. Right. And like for, for and trust. What's the last not commercial you saw during the Super Bowl halftime? Uh, I think it was um, Kershaw. <laughs> Were you watching on YouTube? And Chris, because of your eye, if you have a decent sized machine shop, I am a I am an auto enthusiast, Palmer. All right, guys, I'm getting ready to give this a little swag pack away. We got fifty. I could have probably bought a pretty nice sports car with what I've bought in knives the last couple of years. And then we'll hang till uh. Marty and them get ready to go live, but I'm going to go ahead and pull this. Good luck, guys. Y'all go buy some jerky from M-Bomb. I haven't been able to get any lately, but the lemon pepper is my fave. It is the bomb. 56. Anybody else want to jump in there? Throw Shane Shane up. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. Or 3. Two. One. What got me to have one is we used to, when I lived in the Twin Cities, uh, the Bentley dealer would have... Um, Brother Ed! Our car guys come up and we could watch, we would watch F1. Congrats, Ed! At the, at the Bentley dealership. Which was I've, fun. I've got buddies, Scott, that ask me all the time why I hadn't bought a Harley yet. And I tell them I can't afford one, and they're like, Dude, you Ed, I will throw you in a uh, Javon hat. I go through those periods of wanting a motorcycle. Yeah. Only I could have easily bought a Harley with what I've spent on pocket knives. Only only to know oh, that God. I'd just kill myself. Right. What a way to go, though, man. And then my wife will tease me. She's like, Congratulations, hey, Ed. Get yeah, me in the sale, buddy, and I'll get you uh, boxed up and shipped out tomorrow. Or I think I've got a box. So I want to drop one of these hats in there, too. I'll drop you a hate, not debate Javon hat from my, uh, what do you call it? My B up store. Not my B up store. My, uh, hey, Ed, one. Congratulations, Ed. How what do you call that hat? store? A, um, Let's see, what's it called? Teespring. Yeah, I'll send you a hat. Okay, once when I find the box, I'll I'll send you something cool. Ed Harrison, what's up, brother man? Happy Saturday night. Did Ed just went Wait a school. minute, Palmer. Did you said your dad has a Subaru. Is your dad pocket metal? <laughs> Pocket Metal was going to join tonight, guys, but he is working on a deadline. Hey, Believe it or not. On because I'm probably listening. I'm not 10. Hey, remember, what was that Monday? I, I can't remember what that thing's called where, we, where there's shit coming out of stuff and it freaks you out that he's got. Oh, and yeah. I, it was I, it too. I didn't know it was an actual phobia, but that shit creeps me out. You know, where he's talking about like little it's circles coming out. Like, so the very next day, hey. I'm watching, fuck, I don't know what came. Oh, uh, what was it? it was, I was watching YouTube and um, what's his name? Jim Skelton had a Todd Rexford board. knife on. It just came through my thing. I'm like, ooh, that's, I, I always liked Rexford. I didn't know they cost $24,000. So then that led me to Todd Rexford's site. And I'm scrolling through his designs, and there's this knife with these little circle things coming out of the scales, creeping me the fuck out. So then I send it to Pocket Metal, and like an hour later, I just get a fuck you message back <laughs> from him. 
Yeah, that really flipped him out. I was surprised. He had a visceral reaction to it. Yeah. It's creepy, man. I, I get it. Like, that's I like anything that, that, that annoys pocket metal. That well, shit me anything out. That, like, if you picture a close up picture of coral with all those little holes, anything like that, if you just flash in that picture or send in that, that's worse than a dick pic. It uh, is. I know this, these pimple popping shows. Anybody that watches that shit. He hates that shit. I can't believe someone paid money for that. I'll try it. I erased it off my phone because it fucking creeped me out. I'll see if I can find it down here if it's still here. Oh, yeah, here it is. Come on, get big. Yeah, dude, that's just fucking creepy, man. <laughs> like, who's paying thousands of dollars for that? That's what I sent to Pocket Metal. It's disgusting and worthless. Burn it down, is what he said. <laughs> so pocket metal is going to come over since he used to race bmx and i race bmx he's going to come over we're sleeping bunk beds and ride bikes together there you go yeah it'll be fun he's going to cruise around the neighborhood first i want video footage of pocket metal's big ass on a bmx bike <laughs> he says he's big but he doesn't strike me as a big guy for some reason i think he's a little bigger than we think he is i think he's over six foot and 240 250 something like that I think he, he said before he's given us his measurements and he was larger than I thought he would be. Kathleen, I won't disagree, but to know him, it's just his personality, the way he is. And he doesn't, he thinks of everybody as kind of family. And maybe there's just a little way that they deal, you know, with, with disagreements, with debate. Yeah. Um, he doesn't mean that, I don't think. I don't think he means to oh, be yes, disrespectful. He, does. he thinks so. Absolutely he does. And 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 you can either accept it or not. I accepted it. We don't agree on much and there's things that each of us believe that just completely offend the other. We've just learned to put up with each other. But no, he he completely means what he says. He's very staunch in his beliefs, whether I agree with him or not. Um and like I said, I'm sure he's got his reasons. You know, who knows what those reasons are? But, but well, yeah. he'll I'm always saying that here. because Kathleen. It's because he fucking ruined him. Hang out there. That's just that's just the way it is. Yeah, I never want anybody to feel that they're being singled out because I don't think I think no, the he's not that he's singled out, out. He's not bullying as much as he knows something about them and he pushes buttons right i'm only saying that because if she cont continues to go she'll continue to see that yeah i mean that, that guy anymore. has a heart i learned more about him when we lost jason brown than i did in all the years yeah, before probably right back. me too i mean just i'm just killing time until i don't think there's two around. i don't know that there's two more opposite people on this planet than me and pocket Mother. I just refused. I thought that the same way, but I think our our sense of humors yeah are very similar yeah and I refuse yeah, to let his, his political and social stances keep me from being able to you know be friends with the guy. What is that? It's one of my sound effects. I know. I know. I know. Just fucking crazy. I never had a mongoose. I never had a mongoose either. I had a uh, generic one. But Can that's what he raced. I raced. Uh, I had this explosion at the time. I raced my uh, Revcore, my CW. My cousin had a Kuahara laser light, and I thought it was the coolest thing I'd ever. Dude, you, don't you just wish you would have kept everything from your childhood? Yeah. Oh God. Did you it's see uh, that big? I had the complete with the set of corn, kiss cards. I can't remember the guy's name now. He went from football and now he hosts one of those morning talk shows. He still got his cool hard laser light from when he was a kid. There's no telling what that box was. Michael Strahan? Yeah. He had a, he had a cool hard? Yeah, he, he, he talked about it. He did a bicycle paper route. And I got a red line and then I got a CW and then I had a free agent. And I'll ask you, what that you is a great, great point. With my cousin's cool horrors, when he would jump it, the handlebars would fold and snap. And can y'all hear this? Can y'all hear this? My buddy broke my crane, and I didn't get to go to uh, 
Nationals. No, you didn't hear that? And how was that? The explosion? Nope. See, it's weird. I mean, some of the effects you can hear, some of them you can't. It's like this one I think you can hear. In the event that there is a lot of... I had a Cook Brothers bottom bracket. I mean, uh, yeah, bottom bracket. Absolutely, my journey. It's called Choose to Bait, Not Hate. I'm rolling a set of Richie Hubs on my. I gotta find a way to. Uh, they, drive, they drive my wife crazy. Gain on them or something. Not Richie. Oh. I can't remember now. But I do. I do tend to have a little bit of respect for Pocket Metal and the fact that he's so he's so staunch on his beliefs that he is willing to lose friends and viewers because of it. You know what I mean? He's not gonna been to get you to hang around and, and i'm telling you that. there's there's a lot of to me integrity in that yeah. and knowing the whole pocket metal or the part of the pocket metal that i value which is people's spirit and seeing what they do and people aren't watching um i think he's just a fucking fantastic person yeah. um that's what i love about this community I well, I mean, I, I, dig, I, I dig him, but I, I, there, there's so many different people, right? And right. different beliefs, but we all come together for the same type of shit. And that's one thing I totally agree with Mel Complex with. And I heard him say this a couple of weeks ago that, you know, he doesn't want politics in his life, not because he doesn't have a political view. He's got a very strong political view. But some of his best friends have totally opposite of views. And they're in person and they're able to talk about it and not have a problem but yeah we know scotch and things is cool. Cool. that's what i'm talking about we know yeah, scotch and things idiot. is cool because of that bo jackson I'm say Richie. exactly he absolutely got me into slip joints i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing yeah but, the dick did me too now i have two of them that's the thing. is that bo jackson poster in the original or is that a recent reprint it is it's old it was my cousins he was a marine who yeah. passed away but i don't know if it's an original or not i used to sit in the student section of jordan Hare stadium in 1986 85 85 or 86 drinking wild turkey on acid watching bo jackson in the backfield when we were running towards the other goal line looks like he was stopped in the backfield and everybody's moving and he's kind of going side to side looking for a hole and man when he would explode and bust a hole and you watch him run away with tracers behind him because you were hallucinating and all wild turkeyed up <laughs> it was it was impressive he, 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 he was is. an absolute animal and i remember seeing him on monday night football when he hit what was that guy's name the Brian big Bosworth. Yes, yeah, and just drove his ass to the back of the end zone. I'll tell you what, guys, and I'm not going to sit here and show you the latest training footage, and I hate that it's an exhibition, but I would love nothing more. I heard they're exhibition. calling it an actual fight now. Yeah, I think it's an exhibition, but I would love nothing more than Tyson to go out and just knock him unconscious. Because that man, I don't know if y'all sent me in this, I like to pull he's, it up. He is an absolute monster still. I mean, think about it. He's able to take some of the best HGH replacement stuff legally now. Um, he is an absolute... If you watch him in the old days, and then you watch him now, that's I watched the guy, and I'm trying to find this guy's channel. Um, Back a, door. Liver, or I mean, do you want a, just a nice uppercut? No, I agree. I think a good liver shot just to watch him fold up and win. Really drop him. It's scary watching it. I'm watching him like, all right, are they speeding up the Tyson footage? I'm watching close. It's insane at his age. He is that fast still. Let me find. It's let me powerful. find this one, guys. Well, him the thing is, is, like, is, can he be that fast for a 20 second video clip, or can he be that fast for 36 minutes? He yeah. doesn't have to be for 36 minutes. I think if he could be that fast for six minutes, Jake's done. 
How many dudes did he knock out in the first round? I mean, but that was early on in his career. And later on, he started dragging stuff out. But then they also said, yeah. Well, he said the motto, the, the, then, he started the, getting the drugs and partying and staying up and training wasn't his priority. So, he didn't train at all for that fight. And I will um, I will find this guy's video. I love Tyson. He's just I mean, it's, terrifying. What they say is there's no way that Jake's going to be able to hit him like he's hit other guys because he always is moving and he's always covered up. And I watched the thing one time where this guy was showing people all over the world. Like he traveled all over the world. And everywhere he went, he took this notebook and he would show them pictures of people to see if they recognized them. He would, he'd be in a country where people didn't recognize the president or prime, whatever of their own country. But two people that no matter where he went, on this rock we're floating on, two people that everybody recognized was Michael Jackson and Mike Tyson. Let me tell you something. No matter where you were at. People knew I can was. remember as a kid or however old I was watching him and just being mesmerized from when he walked in the ring. And there's this video that just came out where he talks about he was always scared, right? He was, he was always scared leading up to a fight. When he was walking in the ring, he was always scared. He said when he stepped through the ropes, he instantly felt, all right, this is it right here. He instantly felt like in, I, yes and i get like i, I love it know. i'm not gonna i'm not gonna play his his audio because he'll probably strike me but i love him i watched that guy the other day he's i watched little, uh, you know i grew up he's getting ready to show I or he already him. showed he shows jake paul fight. fighting and he shows tyson training against buster douglas or against he shows Buster Douglas. So he watched the speed here. This is Buster Douglas training before his last fight. It's Evander Holyfield. Evander, I'm sorry. You're right. Where's my movement? Yeah, Evander looks horrible. Yeah, he did. But they just showed, it said, yeah, okay, look at those punches. And then... Evander's been hitting the head too many times. And he got his ear bit off. But then... Watch exactly. This. My Mike Tyson. He's a savage. He is an absolute savage. I don't he think I've ever heard thing. anybody else utter the words, I'll eat your children. Watch the speed here. Yeah, and these are just quick bursts. Like you said, what are they, two minute right, rounds? Right. But, but how many bursts? I mean, I don't think many people can take one of those one, two, threes, or whatever you call those. Yeah, I mean, has Jake and actually been is, hit, Jake, you know? Jake is a better boxer than people give him credit for. Absolutely. I'm just going to stand there and, and let Tyson land those, but... No, but the whole thing is when he gets in a clinch or anything like that, that's where Tyson's at his most dangerous in my mind. I mean, that's where I used to see. I can remember watching old fights because they show the speed between Tyson, Jake, Holyfield, and they're just saying that that's not a 57-year-old comp comparable. And then he goes into this, which is terrifying to me, the power that he smacks this guy's with. I just don't think you can take many of those from Mike Tyson. I and his see. mindset has changed. He's quit smoking. He does not smoke right now, which for him, he was a heavy user. Yeah, he's got a weed ranch in California. And the, he does not need the money. That's the other thing they said. That, that makes him over a million dollars a month. It's one of the most successful vape companies. And uh, the fact that he's doing it for legacy is what Jesse says. And Jesse says everybody's got it wrong. And he shows these. Let's get to it. I mean, it doesn't take much time. And if you look at all Tyson's fights. Hey, I'm glad we're talking about this, John. Did you see that footage they recently dug up of Tyson? It was He was on one of like the late night talk shows. And he was on there with P. Diddy. And P. Diddy reached over and put his hand on Tyson's leg. And Tyson moved it and slid away from him. Oh yeah, and you know Tyson's come out to talk about that shit. Yeah. Tyson's Tyson's made some very uh, disparaging comments about P Diddy. Yeah. Yeah, he has his own line. His own. I just think both of those. Uh, what's their name, Jake? The Paul brothers are just despicable human beings. So. But. In all truth, they have done a lot of really shady shit, which I'm surprised they're still able to get away with it. But somehow they parlayed it. I, that's because people don't care, John. 
it's I'll 10 year old kids it's, it's 10 year old kids no no it's not you watch it too you keep up with everything they do I watch, I watch all I are the drama channels because I'm wa I'm yeah. waiting for their downfall. You're, I mean, I watch you, it. You, just... want see, you want to see the train wreck, but the problem is, while we're waiting on the train wreck, we're promoting that. We're talking about it now. I, I, I'm not faulting you. We're no, no, I get it. Other. I get it. I mean, we're all guilty. And they know they know how to make money off that. And some of the most multi-millionaire. <laughs> some of the most profitable people on TikTok I've learned are people that have a lot of subscribers because they're so hated that people yeah. hate watching them. <laughs> so, I mean, some of these not about there. Mike. I want to be like Mike. Isn't that, I think that's not about Michael Jordan anymore. I think that's about Mike Tyson. If I, he just shows his power just walking in and just. But do you watch Jesse on fire, Shane? Shane? <laughs> I do. Sometimes this Jesse gets on right my here. nerves. Sometimes Jesse gets on my nerves, but he does have a lot of inside UFC information. No, he acts like he does, though. Experience precision. I, I could. We could have a conversation about that too. <laughs> if, you, if you followed that whole court case, um, I wasn't there, so I can't say. But uh, you know, when a girl comes to your hotel room, I know, but it's better for about Mike Tyson biting people's ears off. And at some point gets up and goes to the bathroom and takes her panty liner out and comes back to bed. It kind of sounds like she was planning on having intercourse. So what? I don't know. The whole Tyson rape conviction. Oh, a lot of people. And I'm not even talking about that, but he was a target for so many people because he didn't have a lot of uh, business sense, we'll say. He trusted a lot of people, and he made himself an easy target. Yeah. That doesn't mean he didn't do bad shit. I don't know. I wasn't there. <clears throat> but I know he's been very outspoken, maybe because he's done bad shit about Diddy. Well, guys, I'm fixing to get off here. I've had a, a rough couple of days. I've been sick. Stevie was get over. I'm glad you joined us for a little while. We're not here much longer. We've been going yeah, for over two hours. We might get something to eat before I. Yeah, I got to go to Taco Bell. An hour and a half to kill. Taco Hell. You know, Taco Bell today? I, I appreciate you having me on. Scotch and things. It was fun having a few minutes to conversation. Jane, you got an open invitation any Friday, buddy. Uh, uh, same to you, Scotch and things. I'd like to have you on sometime. I'd I love to have a, a lot of things. In I'd love to I'll have to like this Friday I can I'm getting up at like four in the morning Monday morning we, we could probably decrease our viewer count in half if Dude, we and that's it. I don't even hold on I, I can't even tell you the last time I looked at my analytics <laughs> well right, guys I love y'all because I get to meet guys like you guys, and, hey, I'm you know. gonna get out of here too let everybody go and yeah. I'll see y'all at said faction I'll yep, be chewing on a pizza Shane you got anything to share with these lovelies I don't, just that uh, I'm going to try to be live Sunday, guys. It's always tentative for me nowadays. But uh, hopefully I'll see you all then. And uh, Peace out. Peace Later. out, bro. Scott, you got anything to share with these lovely people? No, just thanks for listening to me rant tonight, guys. Guys, it's always a blast. My and out, and and my chest and, and the, the last thing, Kathleen, we ever want to do is, uh, and that's why I always try to, go back and, and see because I say stupid stuff all the time but we never want to and I know Pocket Metal doesn't he might want to push buttons and I know Scotch doesn't um, we want everybody to have fun we want everybody to enjoy hanging out together and uh, speak in the chat you know I'll uh, I've got a little bit of power here where I can silence people and do stuff like that to talk to them off scene but you know it's all good, and it's all in love. Just remember that. Oh, it, yeah. Like, I don't want to. It's just a good play. So, there's, sometimes you feel like you're the silent majority, and you hear all this stuff, and finally you just, like, enough, you know, and you decide to speak here, and everybody's like, oh, my God, Steve's going crazy. Did you hear what he said about China? No. No, that's one of my – I can't talk about on his shows. That's why I always have one out on my – uh on my show because these can't be on his screen. Oh, yeah. God, I love yeah. you. 
Hold on. I'll you guys, I'll probably here if you guys are in here tonight. Here's a sneak peek. I think I'll post it Sunday. Ooh. I'm sore. Nice. That just showed up. Guy, today. I'm gonna ask you to please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Look out for each other. Go forward with love in your hearts. And if possible, if you're not pocket metal, and even if you are, choose to bait, not hate. I love all you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. Till we see each other again. Peace.